Look who's stumbling into the studio. Why are you on that side? You told me to sit there. I didn't. <laughs> Roland did. Roland, what are you changing the... Dynamic? Yeah, like somebody on my right. Well, uh, well, why are you sitting there with welcome. the new status of the show? I expected you to be sitting where Sam is sitting. To be no, honest I, because I also don't know how to do all that button stuff. Well, the fact that you call it button stuff makes me believe you. <laughs> welcome. All, uh, let me do, is the show on? Well, yeah, we're just starting. No, we it's, have our headphones on because we like the heaviness <laughs> on our head. <laughs> why aren't there some fun treats like fucking blueberry muffins on this stupid show? That isn't a bad point. With an equal number of blueberries in every muffin. Yeah. Uh, how about somebody Sam, gets, listen. If this is how it's going to be, I'll fucking leave right now. <laughs> welcome, Colin Quinn, to Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Well, really welcome. We just walked in. <laughs> he did. He's, <laughs> as we just, started. Um, stumbling down I, the hall. Well, you yelled at me for sitting on your left, which is <laughs> annoying. <laughs> My headphones aren't even on. Oh, they, oh, there we go. You just don't feel like you were brought in the proper way? Yeah. First, I saw Roland. First, what I do is outside, I saw Roland. Waiting to greet me, <laughs> so I snuck in the other back door <laughs> just to annoy him. But he caught up with me. He's standing out there at the front desk, looking very unprofessional, <laughs> with, his, with his bright orange <laughs> scrub daddy T-shirt on. <laughs> it's like a big corporate office, and he's just standing there in his horrible outfit, <laughs> shorts, yeah. scrub daddy T-shirt, and his basketball shorts that don't <laughs> that don't go down past it's, his it's knees. Awful. It's, so awful. <laughs> it's just startling when you see him yeah. in the middle of a beautiful corporate <laughs> office. <laughs> right. Well, he's the, he's the, he's the talent greeter for one of the big morning shows. I know the worst. <laughs> I'm very tired today, Colin. Oh, no. Do you get much sleep? No. Why? Were you out last night partying? No, I just couldn't <laughs> sleep. Oh, brother. Do you have coffee in the middle of the afternoon? See, with a guy like no. Jim, you always hope it's some exciting story with hookers or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it never is. Just Well, I wouldn't say it never is, but I mean... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I just couldn't last night. I've been going to the, we could we had this this extra hour of getting up early, but instead of it taking it for an extra hour of sleep, I'm just going to bed an hour later. Oh, just <laughs> realizing I can afford it. One more hour. What's, what's the big deal? So it's one thirty. Yeah. Jerking off. Yeah. No, no, I had already jerked off. Do what I do. What's that? I every time when I can't sleep because you know you start thinking, oh my god, what is going on? You know, you start going over your whole life worrying, worrying. So what I do is I think I pretend I'm playing basketball for Fordham. In 1971, like I'm a point guard just dribbling down court because that was my fantasy when I was a kid, and I just pretend I'm dribbling and then I fall asleep. I almost <laughs> did listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> it is though, I do have weird daydreams. You know, my yes. I, I was watching trying to watch a UFO documentary last night. And UFC? I, no, no, UFO. What was it about? Oh, the unidentified flying objects. Oh. A, oh. a guy in uh, Australia who does, there's a documentary about him. But then I went and looked him up online, and they said these were all bullshit, so I just. I turned it off. That's how I felt after I saw the second Conjuring movie. You didn't like that? Well, I liked Parts the movie, the but then I went and looked up the true story and just realized it was all... Because they were like, it's based on a true story, and it's, no, it's not. It's bullshit. The true story that it was based on, I mean, was total bullshit. Yeah. Just a British family pretending to see ghosts. There were no ghosts. I think that's what the Amityville Horror was, too. Bullshit. Oh, the, no, but he did murder his family. That was Ronnie uh, Ronnie DeFeo. DeFeo. Yeah. The Lutz family, George and Emily Lutz. Yeah. yeah. I think her name was Emily Lutz. Yeah, I think that the whole, all of them, all of them are bullshit. And then you look, because then I started going even further and looked at the Warren family, you know? Those are the ones that yeah. went and, and, and found the ghosts and everything. They were bullshitting, too. The whole thing is just a crock. It's know. a crock. I don't know. I like to believe. <laughs> yeah, me too. I like to believe too. Yeah. Sam's not going to ruin it for us. That's right. You believe in ghosts? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys have Paul Schrader in later. Is that the Paul Schrader coming in today? Yeah. Yeah, we have Willem Dafoe and Paul Schrader coming in. What? Yep, later on this morning. I don't think they'll compare to you, Colin, but they'll be No, here. I'll have to be very compelling to keep up with those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Paul Schrader wrote a lot of great movies. He wrote The Taxi Driver. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't know you wrote it. You didn't? No. I should probably do my homework. Was, yeah, that's... that's. I'm busy. I was, I was trying he to... He wrote it in three days in a, in a tizzy. I didn't know. Don't be mad at me because I didn't know the time frame. If you can't sleep, why don't you like... He was like a madman. He just wrote it and he was like... Oh. Um, why don't you do like a little like guest research or something? I always do. Yeah, especially when you can't sleep. I saw Platoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you did, but you could have, yeah. I'm sure Willem Dafoe would be glad to talk about Platoon now. Yeah, yeah, he'd love to. Dude, hey. did you hurt yourself when you fell that time when they were shooting at you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have done a little bit about poor Paul Schrader. Did you just plan on him just sitting it's here? fucking legend. Taxi driver, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, Our uh, favorite. I didn't know he wrote it. 
What did you think he, he wrote did? It. Directed it? Yeah. No, I didn't think he directed it. <laughs> <That was> a, <laughs> what, did you, what, what, what did you think his involvement was with it? <laughs> <A> producer. <laughs> Mr. Tired. <laughs> he got, hey, you got your name on Taxi Driver. It's great. He's like, you mean the movie I wrote in a fucking <laughs> whirlwind of pain and loneliness for three days in fucking 1975? Yeah. How do you write it so fast? That's, that's not good work. That's rushed. He's also <laughs> <laughs> he's also one of the writers of Raging Bull. Yeah, I'm looking at that. American Chicago is right. Or Raging right there. Bull, as we call it. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm raging, raging bull. bull. Yeah, American <laughs> Gigolo is very good. Yeah, yeah, he's written a lot of very good movies. Ameri he directed American this Gigolo one. Gigolo is horrible. No, I just good. saw it three days ago. It's one of the worst movies I I've ever seen. I up. haven't seen it in years, so I, 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 I'm gonna have to defer. <laughs> it just him. happened to be on the other day, and I was oh, okay. watching it on oxygen. So was it, it bad? The same one. <laughs> the, I like the opening <laughs> scene with oh, Blondie's song. Yeah, Call me. That was a good one. It was right. Blondie was really good in her song, but the rest of the movie wasn't that great. Are you just scrolling through the channels and you just saw American Gigolo was on oxygen. You yeah. go, let me stop here. Yep. Let me, let me take exactly a look. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I only watch about a quarter of it, to be fair. Do you yeah. ever see Pretty Woman? Yes. That's a good one. That was a searing indictment of uh, human trafficking, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, they did good at the end. I don't think that was. <laughs> <laughs> they did good. You know, uh. You said Richard Gere, and you guys did good at the end yeah. of that one. <laughs> Jim's in the news again. What? For Donald Trump Jr. Oh, I saw the Trump Jr. thing. Why they, is Jim in there? Well, because they keep going back to old audio. I haven't listened to the clip. And they have, like, they're they're pulling up. They were like, when when Donald Trump Jr. was on some show called The Six Pack, and then Opie and Anthony, and then Opie and Jim Norton, he said things like, oh. and it was, they were uh, uh, mad at him because he said, you can't make fun of fat people anymore. Right. Or there was one little joke. I don't even remember him making the joke, to tell you the truth. But he, after the movie theater shooting, the big oh, one, yeah. you guys were playing audio. Right. And his joke after it was, uh, two thumbs up for the movie, you know, trivializing. Right. Right. And now they've taken that, and they were like four years, five years, however years later it is, they're making it, you know, into a news story. Yeah, I, I sent him an email and said, if you want to come on, you know, if not... I'm not pushing out that vid audio. No. Who the fuck? I mean, yeah. they, they just they just dig through archives. The the press. That's what they do. Didn't Stern say he's not going to send stuff out because he feels like it's backstabbing we, his guests? Yeah, they he were right. saying he was saying that he he could have easily just put on a best of right. Trump on the show. Yeah, yeah, sure. But he's not going to do that. Yeah, no, he shouldn't. It's amazing though how far they're digging. Like yeah, if it's the oh, kid yeah. Yeah, on the I show know. talking about wanting to make fun of fat people. Like it's yeah. a, it's a complete non-issue. No. But then on the other side, this morning I walked in here and Fox and News so was Roland. on. Speaking of fat people. No, <laughs> Is he fat? I haven't even noticed. Whoa. I don't body shame. <laughs> <laughs> and how? <laughs> I, I walked in and Fox News was on and they had some author on who was talking about Hillary Clinton. Yeah. And his big indictment of her was, you know, when she was Secretary of State, she took the lamps home with her. Oh. And it was like it was like the the anchors of Fox News were outraged. They were going, "Well, I don't understand. If Hillary's rich, why would she have to take the lamps home with her?" And he goes, "You know what it is? It's a sense of entitlement. She, That's what it she is." She brought those lamps home, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't find it. Yeah, she brought the lamps home. Oh, damn it! My fingers. It's tired. a press, not a push or a tap. No, I just can't find it. It's they. She brought the lamps home. God damn it. <laughs> oh, there it is. How far better it is to strike a match than curse the darkness. So true. Because <laughs> she, she wanted the room to yes. be well lit. I see. Yeah, she was. Uh, they were, they were, their big like story on Hillary this morning was she stole the lamps when she was Secretary of State, and all the Secret Service hated working for her because she cursed at them. <laughs> well, that's that's a little more interesting. <laughs> she said they said on the thing that all the Secret Service people said that they would say good morning, and she would respond with four letter words, <laughs> like "fuck you." I don't believe that. <laughs> good morning, cunt. All right. yeah. <laughs> good morning, <laughs> fuck you. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yourself. I love the idea oh, of that being a bad true. Move. Yeah, it's probably is true. Yeah, I don't know if I believe shit. that. shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if when she she would just say "fuck Maybe you." Maybe she just gave him the finger. <laughs> Maybe she thought they were sarcastic because of the oh, drama at the time. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. morning. Oh, oh shit. Good, good morning. morning. I'm going to fucking Sri Lanka this morning. What's so good about it? <laughs> Maybe. It was the uh, Secretary of State, you know. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you got, this show's not going to be successful if you discourage your hot guests like me <laughs> in, the first, in the first segment. I'm just very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the intern? I demand a new order. 
So have you been enjoying watching the election, or are you spending your time watching, you know, old movies and stuff on oxygen to escape it all? Maybe you didn't fucking hear what I said, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's just so annoying. It makes everyone sick now. Everyone's sick. Yeah. Election fatigue, I'd call it. No, but I mean, it is too much now. You, you heard what so? Trump said about grab the you-know-what? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Jim. It's a morning show, you know? I don't know if we want to go in that direction. <laughs> grab the you-know-what. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't take it anymore. D-bag, Colin needs a new order. I need a new order. A new order, okay. You're the intern? No, no. He'll, 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 producer. I love it. You know, really? you know he's not the intern because he grabs the mic to answer the questions. I know. <laughs> what can I help you with? What is, you your, title? Your, what is your title? Joe Manchi. Yeah. So associate producer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's going to change. <laughs> That's going to change very shortly. Okay. So you getting are you getting my order? Don't you feel like you're too big for it since you're an associate producer? You're you're, you're a legend, so yeah, it's not a, a problem for me. Would you do that for Paul Schrader? Did you know he wrote Taxi Driver? Uh, I did not, but no, I did. nobody does their homework. I know, but Paul Schrader is like fucking right next to Scorsese. He's like the most famous, you know. Is Norton, the, wow, Paul, wow. Let's, I'm I mean, shocked that Jim Norton didn't know that about Paul Schrader. To be honest with you, yeah, he's, he's a guy that would know that. He's a director too, you know this Paul Schrader. Oh. Yeah, he's directed many movies. He has. He directed Shit. this new movie with Willem Dafoe. That's why he's he coming. He might have wrote Hardcore too. He did. Well, he directed it. Wow. See, he, he he did direct. If Jim wasn't film. so tired, he'd be excited about Paul Schrader today. I know. I'm excited. I'm, I but I'm literally I'm fucking dead on my feet. You better have a couple of cups of coffee. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I'm a real bee without my coffee. <laughs> he did direct a film I love a lot. What film is that? Blue Collar. Oh. oh, Richard Pryor. I would love to ask him about that. And Harvey I like Keitel. Richard. Ask Richard Pryor. I like his stand up. I didn't see it. I just saw his <laughs> movies. You ever see Bustin' Loose? Uh, the kid, the one with Gleason, the toy. Hey, listen, kid. What's your name? Derek. And what? Derek. Yeah, D bag. I go by. Ah. <laughs> I didn't ask for it. it did. No, don't, no, don't, don't, don't try. To, you just well, took I, ownership I, oh, of it when you said it, so. and then yeah. you took ownership, <laughs> and then Colin just kind of stared at you coldly, yeah. and so you lost confidence in your nickname. Of course, it's the worst nickname. Ever. Oh, it's horrendous. I mean, you think D bag's a good nickname? No, it's I horrible. didn't ask for it. D bag. You guys are right. It's like a. Okay. <laughs> it's, you it's see, like, <laughs> it's like a horrible like frat nickname from the eighties. <laughs> D bag. Yeah, it's not yeah. good. But you took, you took great pride in it when you presented yourself as that just now. Like, literally 30 seconds ago yeah, when you I said it. You, I don't know what you thought was going to happen. I was going to rear back and <laughs> well, be seen cackling. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah, the name's Derek, but they call me D-Bag. Well, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I didn't ask for it. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't ask for Do it. Do you think that he thought it was going to be a real chuckle getter? <laughs> 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 Oh, D bag! <laughs> you played this one all wrong, D bag. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me once. At just least let him see the tattoo. So there's something oh, going on. Jesus. Just don't call me late for supper. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you need from D bag? I don't know. Um, like, do, do they have any like, kind of like fun muffins and stuff? Like, isn't that fun muffins? It's a yeah, fun like muffin. A delicious. That's what I call blueberry assholes. muffin. <laughs> <laughs> we, we played this game before, Colin. Do you have a f- oh. Ew. <laughs> no, he sent me out for muffins once, and I had to go in and out five times. We played this <laughs> game before. <laughs> I ended up at Magnolia, though, have so you it ever seems been, like the same yeah. Have you ever been so disrespected at a radio <laughs> no, show before? I kind of like got it. nobody greeting I you. Like it. Your lines are falling <laughs> flat with the host. No, I snuck <laughs> away from the greeting because I was ashamed of Roland's outfit. Oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> and now you got the intern being like, I'm not uh, an intern. we've played this game before, <laughs> Colin. He's, he's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're, right. You're right. He does think he's too big for it. <laughs> we, played this game before. we played this game before. Yeah. Well, guess what? To me, it's no game, young man. Okay. <laughs> I'll take a magnolia, <laughs> blueberry muffin, and another tea, please. Make sure it's tea. one of the fun muffins. Though. English, English breakfast. breakfast tea. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't have any blueberry muffins, get like you know, a fun fucking donut or whatever they have. Okay. But like a morning thing. Don't be coming back with a cookie like it's two in the afternoon. The breakfast. Yeah, like a breakfast treat. How okay. about a how about a uh, how about a corn muffin? Oh no, fuck corn muffins! I haven't eaten those since I was a little kid. You don't like corn muffins? This useless. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little sweetness to them. I don't mind a corn. There's muffin. no sweetness. That's the problem. Corn muffins are sweet. Blueberry muffins are sweet. You're going Ooh. to the wrong place for these corn muffins if they're not sweet. How about a bran muffin? Oh, the worst. <laughs> I'm a bran muffin. No, <laughs> <laughs> my treat. Maybe a donut or something. They have donuts there. What about Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, maybe a Dunkin' Donuts, but I Ooh. like the tea there. 
Well, you, you get D-Bag stop in a couple places, even yeah, though he's not right. an intern. <laughs> even though last time we've been through this. <laughs> yeah. No, Colin. Not D-Bag, multiple players. d bags like, this is not my first rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Colin wants a donut. Yeah, let me explain something to you, Colin. Associate producer means I've been on this ride before, okay? <laughs> I'm not some guy just starting out. <laughs> where do you live? Long Island. Ooh, where? <laughs> New Life Park. Jesus Christ, how the hell do you get here every day? Just sitting on the trundling on the train? Yeah. Trying to let people know that you know, you're more than just an intern? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta no, go no associate cares, produce. Though. What time do you leave in the morning? Uh, now I leave at the 601 train, which isn't bad. But it's, that's because we're starting, you know. At let's be now. honest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even though you're the associate producer. Yeah. Someone in the family drops you off at the train. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I drive to the train. <laughs> All right, D-Bag. So you want a, a donut? We, we need... Go get Colin. Something. You know, I, here's what you do. I need more coffee. I'll bring yeah. a dozen donuts for the boys. Go, no. get, a, go get a dozen donuts uh, for the boys. Yeah, Willem Dafoe probably wants a donut. He wants it. Of He's course not he wants eat a, a donut. donut. He's it's, been in shape for 30 years. It's yeah, like Michael Douglas says, surprise me, sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want your cheap salesman talk. Give me a surprise. Yeah, get him something. a donut from Endicott Steel. <laughs> 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 Blue Horseshoe wants a donut. <laughs> go pick up a dozen donuts. And then go to a dip, go to Magnolia. Get blueberry muffin. No, don't get what the f- no, don't get a what blueberry. What the fuck? Are you fucking crazy? I want coffee. Here's what I'm you do. Really tired. <laughs> okay, this is good. Thank you. You can get an English uh, English breakfast from Starbucks, right? Yeah. So one tea bag though. Roland tried to hook oh. me up with two, but it got too strong. One tea bag, D bag. <laughs> <laughs> D bag, what are we doing? A dozen donuts from where? Dunkin' Donuts. We need a dozen donuts. We need a dozen. I can't eat a donut. Well, then you won't have one of the dozen. Willem see. Defoe might want one. He's Willem... not. He's got a <laughs> fucking. He's been in great abs. Press days or cheat days for Willem Defoe. He'll have a donut. Yeah. So you're gonna get a dozen donuts. <laughs> make a little variety in there. That way, CQ can have his pick. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Then you go to Starbucks. Oh, donuts. I know. <laughs> then you go to Starbucks. You get Mr. Norton a coffee. You get CQ an English breakfast with how many tea bags? Uno. One. <laughs> one tea. And then what when size you... with one tea bag? A large or one tea bag? Is that diluted. large one. How do you like a large or one tea bag that's diluted tea? No, this Not is too, too strong. strong. Oh. I was over drinking a cup of coffee for crying out loud. And when you inside cool. joke among the tea drinkers. <laughs> 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 and when you come back in here with all the stuff, uh-huh. you first you put down the donuts, then you put down the coffee. Then you walk over to Colin and you go one tea bag from D bag <laughs> and you put it right in front of him. <laughs> Is okay, that you want me to do it? Yeah, yeah. of course. I, li- I like you see because Sam's done these jobs. I like the fact I like him in charge, like giving out the orders the way it's done properly. This he's, is how it's done. He's showing how it how it's how you start in look a at, professional at way. He's sitting on top of that fucking large seat. Yes, <laughs> yes. All right. Well, then what are you still looking at me for, D-Bag? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you had your marching orders and you kept staring. You got staring. your assignment. <laughs> go, D-Bag, go. All right. And what do Whoa! we have? Some kind of a... Uh... Wait Rolling. a minute. Hold Rolling. on. Oh, oh, we may... We may... made D-Bag just... Oh, oh my that God. That order may not be needed. That order's not needed. Roland just walked in. Ships in the minute. What's that? What's chocolate ship? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> There's a chocolate ship, Scorpio. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah, bring one of those chocolate ships what over is here. Shit? <laughs> this is great. Inside a bottle. <laughs> These things are the greatest. Thank you, Roland. Oh, boy. Look at that D bag. All wow. this time. Sugar. Holy motherfucker. These things are incredible. <laughs> Lemon and chocolate chip. Jesus, and that's blueberry, isn't it? Yes. Wow. D bag, can I tell Why you what you the lesson two? is here? Treat yourself to that. No, these are too big. D bag needs to learn a lesson here. D bag <laughs> learned a lesson the hard way just now. It's exactly Roland showed all, him how it's done. All this true. time you were in here yapping about whether you were an associate producer or what your <laughs> nickname was or yeah. you know who drove you to the train or whatever it was. <laughs> Roland was downstairs doing yeah. showing you That's up. That's right. Roland looked at Colin and said, "What's your pleasure, young fella?" <laughs> <laughs> it finally worked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you understand what happened there, D-Bag? Yeah, D-Bag. Well, yeah. That, that's probably... Be, I went in the hallway, and I heard Colin say something about a muffin when I walked out, and I was like... Maybe I'm, you should have had those ears open well, when I he said, said it. I said to Roland, I'm probably going to get sent to Magnolia Bakery, and then I guess uh, he was proactive about the situation. That's and right. what were you? He cared. 
Well, I don't like uh, the fact that you're trying to take things. credit for bringing up Magnolia and then that Roland, is true. Exactly. Roland came scurried through. Roland off. came through. He's no, off, no, it's more than him. came through. You're trying to say he scurried off the minute you said Magnolia. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying that Roland stole his idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what happened here, D-Bag. You were doing a lot of this gum flapping. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and Roland was getting the job done. You see you what were, happened? You were having a pity party because of that 6 a.m. to the New Hyde Park every day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you were gum I flapping while Roland was lazily trudging. Yeah. These guys get up at 7 15 and fucking then they complain. I'm the one that's gets up at five. That's what you were saying. And look what happened. I don't remember saying that. So, you know, you could get up whatever time. Apparently, Roland's getting up a couple minutes before you mm-hmm. are because that early bird got this worm. Unbelievable. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. excuse Roland's outfit. No, let me, let me ask you something. What? I walked and turned around and ran in the other door because of the way Roland looked. You were I'm embarrassed. Not even kidding. You were embarrassed. Yes. <laughs> D-Bag. Are you going to sit here and listen about Roland's outfit? No, I'm going to go. <laughs> Somebody's thirsty. Yeah. That yeah. tea is still too strong. Me and Kyle are both thirsty. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> this is absurd. How is that? How's your muffin? Uh, it's delicious. It it's is incredible. Good, right? Fuck. So your muffin's unbelievable. You were you were you were put off by Roland's outfit this morning. <laughs> yeah, it was real. No, it was real. I mean, look at me. I'm dressed like a bum, but I was like, Jesus Christ. Well, you're not an employee here. You're <laughs> no, a guest. No, it was terrible. But it's also you're wearing like grays and navies and stuff. There's something about a bright orange. A bright orange really... on a big ma- on a mad Turk. <laughs> really... <laughs> he really is. <laughs> How's your leg, man? You look like you're all healed up. He's a guy in any strange town that the cops would just pull him right over and the whole town would die. Yeah, he, he's the one that did it. Bring him in. And he'd be like, no, I didn't. And he'd be, he'd be guilty of his charge. I don't like how you ignored my concern. Well, my leg is not better, as a matter of fact. Oh. My Achilles. I, what happened I to the leg? I tore my Achilles a couple. Well, yeah. it's kind of an interesting story. I was, I was on the set of Sandler movie a couple of months ago. Oh. They want to play basketball. So I was like, I'll play the game, even though I was kind of hesitant. Yeah. And I was like playing. I was like, you know what? I'm not old. My, I can still play. This is great. And then I heard pop. And there I was, you heard screaming. It? Yeah, I heard you the were pop. Scre- you were screaming? Yeah, the Achilles tour. And it was on the oh. set. But the fun part was, it was on on the set. They had baseball. It was on the set of a mansion. The mansion where Jack Waltz found the horse's head in his bed. Wow, that, that was horse's kind of fun. ass hurt himself. <laughs> 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 they found a, a horse's ass grabbing his ankle on the basketball court. <laughs> now, fellas. <laughs> okay, oh, that's just a great house. Wow. It was so really cool. You were playing basketball. Was we it, went did, in the pool and everything. Did that used to be Chaplin's house? It was. Oh, really? It was Charlie Chaplin's house, yeah. Did you jump up and then land on it weird? Like, no, how did I you... just... It always happens when you're standing still and you just run suddenly. Oh. That's when it happens. When you made a move. Mm-hmm. Did that make you feel old, too, that you didn't actually do anything? It just, right. All of a sudden, your Achilles just decides to give up on yeah. you. Yeah. How long did it take help to get there? Where did you guys go to the hospital? Well, I went to the hospital in a couple of days. No, I foolishly... Just figured it was swollen, even though I heard the pop like an idiot. So I went the next day to the airport and walked through the airport like a fool. I heard the new Kennedy extension was takes like twenty minutes. And um, Delta. yeah, he must have flown Delta. Maybe it was Delta, but it was quite a pain in the ass. And then um, then Ooh. I had the operation next week. Oh, you didn't do it yet? No, no, I had it eight weeks ago. Oh, the crutches, actually, I, I was see, on a okay. scooter. I, yeah, I remember. So why is it still so around? You were on a scooter. Well, it takes it takes a year. To, oh. to, it takes six months before you recover. All right, but you can walk without the cane. I can walk without the cane, but very slowly. Was that embarrassing to have to walk with a cane? No, it was. I was on a scooter, for Christ's <laughs> sake. That was the worst. Scootering on the streets like an idiot. People looked at me like, hey, this guy's washed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were like, oh, is, the, is that the weekend update guy on, yeah. the, on oh, that no. scooter, yeah. immobile? Yeah. That's not good. Scootering through the streets. Oh. That's not Oh, and he got Jim the coffee. Roland's on fire today. Thank you, Roland. Roland is... Roland tell Derek have to come back. Let me tell you something, Roland. D-Bag is being made to look like quite a fool because yeah. of you. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> that Thank nickname you. is starting to fit more and more. Oh, sure Roland probably just had a cup in the back and he put his fucking private company coffee in there. <laughs> probably, some, probably a scammy run. <laughs> <laughs> there uh, I am, look, on the screen. Oh, just scootering TMZ, around. TMZ, scootering. Watch it wasn't scoot- even, it's not even TMZ. It's uh, X-17 uh, online. What? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's TMZ. not TMZ. It's I thought X- that was TMZ. No. It's X-17. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, you, you know you can tell it's not TMZ? Yeah, because they're talking to Colin. <laughs> 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 look at, ah. You know, I like this. <laughs> Colin is obviously like trying to come up with some witticisms for the camera and everything, thinking TMZ is kind of a big deal. Jim, could you read the view count for me? It's not many. It's only, it's only 534, but it's a while ago. <laughs> it's getting these things time to grow online. 
from September 21st. It's gonna get viral. When you said, sco- when you said scooter, I didn't realize you meant standing. I thought you meant a scooter that you sat on. A uh, standing scooter's not that bad. Oh, standing scooter, one leg. Nah, no, ah, uh, standing scooter's pretty bad because everybody had, knows you're injured. We had dinner the night before you went in. Yeah. We had a nice, uh, delicious Italian supper. Oh. oh. To do that again. Oh. It's very hard not to eat bad in that restaurant. It is? Yeah. You're not kidding. How glad are you that the donuts didn't come through? I'm happy. I saw your look of panic. Like, you wanted, because the, the rest of the room wanted donuts, yeah. but you can't have them I around know. you. Oh, <laughs> I'm just weak. I mean, I won't eat them, but I'm tired and I'm fucking weak. You are. Talking that's about... when you break the diet. Yes, that's the test. <laughs> we gotta be careful. Good insight. That's right. Good insight. What were you doing last night that, uh, that you couldn't sleep. I know. There's more to the story than me. The uh. <laughs> I did the my set. Went home, had some Vietnamese food. Ah, ah. you ate too late. No, no. Then I was just relaxing. I played with my dick a little bit. Didn't do oh. a whole lot, and then I just couldn't fall asleep. Hmm. You don't have a TV in your bedroom though, so you just lay there. Yeah. You've got to find a way to incorporate whatever you jerked off to to like a sleep type of uh, something that induces sleep. Who the hell can fall asleep watching beheadings? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. How do you? I don't. <laughs> how do you figure out how to make jerking off like make it part of your nighttime? Just thinking, like I know what he means about the ritual. I'll tell you what. I, oh, this is why I talked about the UFO. What I was dozing off trying to, to fall asleep thinking of was that I was on a plane to Australia. Oh, and I caught UFO footage out the window on my cell phone. I think of these weird scenarios <laughs> sometimes to doze off to. And then was the whole world a buzz at the at the at the footage that Jimmy Norton had found on yeah, his I, cell phone? I try not to get too detailed with it because then it will keep me awake. Uh-huh. But I think Sam brings up a good point. <laughs> Somewhere in your stupid fantasy, you're the hero that caught the UFO footage. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah Suddenly be- you're sitting there with Neil Tyson, all these people who, well, you know, fellas, I saw it and I looked at it. It's like, oh god, because he was the one observant boy on the on the airplane. <laughs> yes, exactly. Everybody yeah. else was sleeping, but not Jim. He was on watch. <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. They were all sleeping except for me, and I was like, I. I was holding the phone up, and I was oh, you, even in this like half asleep daydream fantasy, was picturing the reflection not bouncing back because I had the thing right up against the window. <laughs> right. Oh, it that's really was an asshole's thought. Because yeah. part of it is also <laughs> you were the one who was prepared to get it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like you, you really, were the one who had it in you. He was an American hero in the goddamn scenario. No, just right place, right time. And, and in the and in the fa- <laughs> <laughs> in the fantasy, I'm I- no hero, ladies and gentlemen. I'm no hero. <laughs> no, but in the fantasy, I, I had my to do a comedy game. <laughs> <laughs> I had my phone out because I was listening to my iPod. I have to have realism in these daydreams, right? There has to. I can't sure. just be all of a sudden like I'm the president. It's got to be something that has like a, a linear yeah. progression. So I, I had my phone out because I was listening to music, and I just opened it and, and took a video. Do you know when you're daydreaming like that? You mean like right oh, yeah, before yeah, you fall asleep? Oh yeah, I was conscious. I was awake. But I was just trying to fall asleep. I think of terribly weird scenarios. A lot of times I think of the plane breaking up and us falling to our deaths. I swear to God, that, that's a fall asleep. Does that help you fall asleep? No, No, but it's weirdly comforting sometimes. Really? Sure. Yeah. Crashing in a plane? I don't know. Sweet relief. Oh. (laughs) Yeah, maybe. Death, where is thy sting? Oh. I don't get that philosophical. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I always, I never know when I'm having those daydreams until like halfway through, and then once I become aware, I can't, I'm I'm wide awake. Do you ever get that feeling and you realize you look across at me and you're like, wow, this isn't a dream? Yeah. I haven't, not yet. I haven't, <laughs> yeah. I haven't experienced that yet. He was once D-bag, and now he's sitting there across from you. That's right. Well, I once had to take that kind of guff. And he, now he's in the master chair because you're too lazy to figure out the buttons, as you call them. Oh, I could probably figure out the buttons if no, I was taught. Couldn't. Sam went to school. No, you was spoiled. <laughs> yeah. All Jim did was go to the school of hard knocks. They don't teach button pushing. I don't, I don't want to learn you know, the Syracuse? buttons. Syracuse? Yeah. Syracuse. You don't you. go pretend you don't know where I went to school. You've been obsessed with it for years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Syracuse. Did you go with D. Coleman? No, I don't think so. I didn't go to broadcasting school. No, Derek Coleman, he was the star of Syracuse. He's a no, basketball I went, player. I went when Carmelo Anthony was there. Oh. Yeah, it was, we were, were a young one. <laughs> we, were, we were in the same Mello. freshman class. You were? Mello and I. And did you guys study together? No, we didn't have was any. Was he like, I'm nervous about this big test? <laughs> I know that. <laughs> he didn't take a class all the time he's there. <laughs> Do you guys ever like talk about the old, the good old? Do you think he'd remember you, Carmelo? Yeah. I don't know if our uh, if our paths crossed. I don't know if we made as, uh, enough of an impact on each other's lives. He'd probably be <laughs> fine like talking to you. You tell Stan tells us about how he saw him fall asleep in class. He'd probably enjoy talking. Yes. To you. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like my my Carmelo. I have. The only two Carmelo Anthony stories are the one where he was like not paying attention in class. What? Where he said, "I think I." I don't buy that. Well, when he was, he, he volunteered. He put his hand up in a class, <laughs> and it was the first time. You know, he had his head down on the desk with his hood up. Yes. Oh and, my goodness. And then he put his hand up, 
And he's and the teacher was like an anomaly. Right. Teacher was excited. Yeah. No, uh, Carmelo, yes. And he said, War is bad. It makes me sad. And then he put his head back down on the desk. And the teacher Ooh. said, uh, You're not so smart now, <laughs> are you? <laughs> <laughs> and then I knew this other this other girl that blew him and didn't consider it cheating on her boyfriend back at home. Oh, because no. it's Carmelo Anthony. Were you, know? you her boyfriend? No, I wasn't her oh, boyfriend. That'd be so she hot. was also in Syracuse. <laughs> <laughs> but other she than that, you, she told you she blew him and said it's not cheating. Yeah, she said it's Carmelo, and I was like, yeah, I get that. Wow, that's yeah, good. that's awesome. That's how you know you're doing well in life when girls suck your dick, and they're like, yeah, it's not being unfaithful. It's right, him. it's Carmelo. Right, even her boyfriend's like, all right, come it's on. Carmelo. Yeah. yeah, but other and then he left, and then he left after freshman year. He was gone. He was out of my life. Yeah, you well, know, he all oh, he left after being a freshman to go to. Uh, he went to the, the Denver Nuggets right after okay. that. Yeah. If Sam, if Sam, met, what would you say if you met him? Like, hey, remember the student union? <laughs> <laughs> Probably bring up Otto the Orange. Late nights on the quad. <laughs> Late nights on the quad. Yeah, he was. Hey, wait, wasn't he? Uh, wasn't his defensive coach? What's his name? Who? Oh, uh, def- <laughs> Molester. Ju- Sandusky. No, the uh, the Sandusky of Syracuse. Oh, that's right. There was another one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't remember? I don't him. remember his you, name. You, you blocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For my one season as the water boy. <laughs> I forgot that guy. You know, it's funny. That guy got so overshadowed. I feel like Jerry yeah, Sandusky, Bernie Fine. Jerry, Bernie Jerry Fine, Sandusky yeah. put up Hall of Fame numbers. Bernie Fine was, was a solid molester. Right. Yes, he not was. on that level. But yeah. then, Bernie Fine was the one whose like, wife was in on it. And no, he had his, his wife little... was banging all the uh, players. Yes. She's like, well, if you're going to do that, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Was he fucking boys or girls? Boys. Oh, boys, yeah. God. Like the young, and then she would fuck the players on right. it. Right, that's right. And oh he had God. like the, his locked up basement or whatever in his right. house. Yeah, Maybe yeah, we yeah. should ask Mello what happened. Maybe he banged her. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because that's not a shameful story. He probably wouldn't admit it if Bernie Fine touched him, but if he fucked Bernie Fine's wife, he would definitely admit it. Well, would he admit that that girl blew him, though, is the question. That's what I would ask him, because I'd say I have the hard facts to prove it. Wait, What's was her name? Bernie... Dolores Kensington? <laughs> 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 was Bernie Fine f- molesting the players? No. No. It was the, no, it was Kids, like right, okay. Young, Whoa, yeah. that's yeah. sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was... Touch yeah, I don't kids. know what he was doing. Yeah. I forget it. It was like yeah. ball boys or something. I don't know. Tower boys. Which like right underage away. kids or just creepy? Ball oh, boys. not underage. It depends on age. Ball boys. I mean, ball boys. Know, boys. Yeah, Afghanistan. Old, uh, it's a how different culture. Oh, yeah. A little bunch of bossy. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know how old they were. Yeah, it was ball boys, so. It was in, so uh, underage. In 2002, phone conversations were released that uh, one of the former ball boys... Uh, and Fine's wife, uh, uh, Lori, in the tape, Lori said she knew about her husband's behavior but felt powerless to stop it. Yeah. So she just stayed with him and let it happen. That's pretty sad. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't I didn't know who Bernie Fine was until all this molestation stuff started coming out. Yeah, I knew right. Jim Beheim. Yeah, Beheim. You know, I knew Carmelo Anthony. That was what I knew. Yeah. Hakeem Warwick. He wasn't as famous after he left Syracuse. Oh. Jerry McNamara also. I believe he's still a coach in Syracuse. He didn't. He didn't end up no. doing much in the NBA. But Syracuse Carmelo is a Anthony, very depressing town. It's terrible. It's really miserable. Terrible. I, I like it. I think it's more uplifting than Buffalo. No, it's not. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Aside from the, it's the, like a bad neighborhood in Buffalo. Huh? Syracuse is a terrible place. Aside from the college. Like, you can't walk around off campus. Why? It's at, violent. Yeah. It's, oh. It's all like uh, violent and gangs and, and, and low income and crime and, yeah. And Excellent get fucking way to robbed. avoid a word. Uh. <laughs> 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 it's like we're playing $25,000 pyramid, but it's keep your job. <laughs> he goes, it's just a bad town. It's all euphemisms and euphemisms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Loud talk in the movies and cutting online and large genitals. Hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, maybe you're right. I haven't yeah. spent that much time there. It's not a good area, and it's it's fucking the weather is is the most depressing thing in the world. Yeah, it's like it's always eight, overcast. Yeah, eight months or or more sometimes of just gray. Yeah, just gray skies. See, I'm always. surprised that's a violent area because usually warmer weather people get ornery in the warmer weather, and they're not when it's freezing cold out. They just stay indoors when it's freezing, but yeah. not in Syracuse. Sure, like what the Vikings? But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that brings up one of those most boring facts I've ever heard. What? You know, usually in the warmer weather, at least look it up, Google it. No, but I anyway, was, I was talking more in our cities. Ah, yeah, in New York, like I think. Memphis. 
I don't know. And, and, and I don't know either. Let's say in the Big Apple, I was crime saying, probably goes up in the summer because people are out of the house. Yeah, in I was the winter, in Chicago, they always say like the summer's much worse than the winter. Right. Jesus, guys, because why do you think? Because people are out. It's cold, obviously. It's Wait. ridiculous. But well, then yeah, it goes but, back but, to but Syracuse. Syracuse is bad. So I'm saying Syracuse it's breaks the mold. Why? It's it's the truth. No, it's not that cold. It's just overcast. People it's are depressed. Oh, oh, yeah, it's pretty it's cold. cold. I mean, it's, it's, it's not cold. Who wants, it's to very a, cold. who wants to commit a crime when it's fucking overcast? You feel too bummed out. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have the motivation to do I it. I like uh, the overcast upstate New York. It's kind of romantic. There's something beautiful about upstate New York. You just said it was depressing. Yeah. Well, Syracuse is, but I mean, like the country. And you're not wrong. And he's we, he likes the leaves. The, I the do like the most enraging thing was us driving up to a gig, me him and Keith and Colin enjoying the foliage. Did you guys enjoy it? I tried to have a civilized time with these two idiots. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole time he's just berating me over my. <laughs> Over my less than alpha male driving. It was, <laughs> all you want to be is a person, right? Was, you that's just a great way to second. put it. Less than alpha driving. He was hustling the tear for cigarettes for his man. That was the driving <laughs> he was doing. It was awful. I was just, I saw a truck ahead of me and I got a little It wasn't ahead of me. It was in another lane. And he saw, the truck in the other lane slowed down. He slowed down. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Are got, you a bit of a timid got, driver, Colin? I got scared. <laughs> Yes, I got scared. Well, you just don't have the road experience. You're a city guy. You don't yeah, have the road experience. I don't drive that much. Yeah. I'm not like this Jersey type running around, jumping off the exits, scur scurrying across lanes. I'm very cautious. You're a, bit, you are, you're a bit of a cautious driver? Well, it's like mother used to tell me when I first started driving. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about the other person. They I, might yes. make I heard the move. same thing when they, when they were obviously <laughs> had no faith in us. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been living by it ever since. I get it. My mother doesn't like to drive on the highway, so she she and you probably have a lot in common, <laughs> you know. But the best move I made, really one of the greatest moves in my life, was a week before we had done a gig, and Norton, or maybe a month before, Norton wouldn't stop late at night. I wanted to get something, treats for, you know, the late night trip back from some godforsaken gig in Jersey. And then this time he forgot about it. So he goes, I need my, you know, he needed his cappuccino. I pull into the rest area, the, the <laughs> service road. He forgot all about what he did last time. I and by the way, how long ago was last time? Probably um, three weeks before that. Okay, so it wasn't long. It wasn't a long time at all. Okay. Maybe two weeks. Okay. And then so I pull in there and I slow down. And he's he's getting mentally and physically prepared to enjoy <laughs> probably his chops with, you know, moisturizing. He's going to get some combos or yeah, something. Yeah. No, he just wanted his cappuccino. He has to have his morning cappuccino. Oh, sure. And I just... Right back on. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting ready for his caffeine fix. He was so mad, but then when I reminded him of his egregious behavior the week before, he took it like a man. He's like, "Oh damn it!" <laughs> do you remember that? Live by the sword, and uh, God by I the do. Sword. Yes. Were you disappointed when he kept driving? Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> did you take it in good stride at first, or did you yell at him? I was no, annoyed. He, but he was then mad I, at first, I had but no, then he took it in good stride. What was I going to do? I mean, I was. It was fucking. You know, it was fair. <laughs> right. When I reminded him of what happened. Yes. That he had not stopped at the rest stop for you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, he likes to stop at every rest area. Yes, we, would, we would stop a lot. And it was fun, but you wanted <laughs> eating so much junk food. I know. Why'd you stop at every rest area? Just to eat. Yeah, exactly. just to get a nice snack. When me, and, Bo with when a me drill. and Bobby Kelly used to go on... <laughs> We used to go and do like gigs. Like one time we went to Penn State, we were stopped at a supermarket. So <laughs> much food we got. We said, it's called for a supermarket trip. Yeah. Cheese, it's everything. <laughs> There's nothing better than fucking digging in when you're driving. Ah, oh, the old days. We'd yeah. all go to gigs together. But the problem is, we all got too greedy. Like nobody wants to not make a lot of money. Like so. everybody wants to do their own shows. Yeah, everybody wants to do their own shows. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you get the Why don't you get the gang back together? I wouldn't say that's greedy because the money. We did do a tough crowd, a traveling tough crowd once. We tried in yeah. a college years. We were, I forget where it was. I remember arguing with Continental because it was in a college and they wouldn't fly anything but a tiny plane there, and I was so fucking freaked out by <laughs> tiny planes back in like 2004. Yeah. Well, I tell you this: when I was a young student at Syracuse University, you know who came up there? Who? I was, and it was the tough crowd tour. You didn't go. It was Robert Kelly. Keith Robinson and Jim Norton. What did you go to the show? I went to the show. Wow, it's very funny. Very, I still have pictures with all the comedians from you that do? show. Do oh you, yeah, do you have that picture? Yeah, I do. I gotta see that. Yeah, I do. My mom sent it to me the other day. Remember? Except my mom sends me that picture like every like couple of years, Can so you I remember. Post it, it now. Do you have it? <laughs> uh, you must I'm have sure it. She it's sent on it to my you. phone. Yeah. It must have had some impact on his life that he forgot about it until just now. I know. And every couple of years, he has to be reminded. <laughs> Where'd you grow up? <laughs> Where'd you grow up? Uh, in Westchester. Where? Near Rochelle. Tell them what you call it. The best Chester. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> did I tell you about the time I got beat up by girls on North Avenue? You did? No. Yeah. How much did that cost you? 
<laughs> I left the bar with the underage girl, Ooh. and then her sister. How came. underage? Well, Oh, she was probably two years younger oh, than me. All right, not not fun. No, I was only nineteen myself. Yeah, yeah. Was it there uh, next to the, across the street from Iona? Um, well, it was Gary's Barley Corn. Jesus, that's probably closed. What an awful now. name Gary's, for a place. <laughs> Gary's Barley, Gary's barley Corn. Corn. It was a hot club back then. <laughs> How well, cool? well, well, it was next door to Gary's Barley Corn. There were two bars. What an old man bar that is. I know. Sorry, sorry, Grandpa. But that bar a, doesn't yeah. exist anymore. <laughs> well, it was actually a hip, young, vibrant place at the time. A lot of Iona students were there. See, it was probably and apparently some. Probably right across from, <laughs> from my owner, but so you get this this uh, underage girl. At yeah, so Gary's I started making out with her in the alley behind Ben Gary's, and then she goes, "What's my name?" And I couldn't remember her name. She's like, "You son of a bitch!" She starts cursing at me because I forgot her name, oh. which I don't blame her, you know. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we only just met, but it's like you have to remember someone's name. You're making out with them. Then we walk outside, and her sister was apparently with her friends. Like, where's my sister? She's under. I didn't know she was on. She was in a bar, and then we walk outside, and her sister starts. Just walks up and I'm like, hey. And somehow her sister like trip, tripped me and punched me at the same time. I went flying on the ground. Of course, my friends thought it was the funniest thing. Ever. <laughs> yeah, the girl the got you. With... me, punching me. What were you doing in New Rochelle? I don't remember. Some friend of ours lived around there, so we went to a bar. If you want an update on, you want to find out whatever happened to Gary's barley corn? Sure. Well, the corporate owner of the bar uh, pled guilty to serving alcohol illegally to six teenagers the night two of them died in a 1994 car accident. Oof. So, was that a problem for the bar? Yeah, yeah. It becomes Jeez. difficult to continue to serve. Oh, yeah. Um, Although 20 years ago, it wasn't as bad. Now that's the end of you. But back, in, even in the, the early 90s, it wasn't as bad. Look, I've Apparently, never heard. Apparently, he didn't hear the story. <laughs> They said it's over because of that. No, it's like, it's not as bad. Hold on. Tell that to this guy. Did He's, they close? I mean, yes. it, look, I haven't heard of this place. I'm sure it's been closed since 94. Yes. No, no, no here's why I'm, I'm reading this. I, I always read ahead. That's what I'm known for. The corporation, <laughs> that, the corporation that owned Gary's faces a fine. Don't call to, it Gary's. Call it by the full name. Uh, Gary's Barley Corn. <laughs> uh, $5,000 on each of the six counts. So it's like a $30,000 fine they were facing. Um, and suspended its liquor license for 120 days. That's okay, putting that, a bar out of business. You can't sell alcohol for 120 days. That's and that's three months or four months. Thirty grand in the hole with no income for three months. Serves juice and, and fruit juice. <laughs> You're out of you business. Have, you don't need alcohol to have know, fun. I didn't know John Taffer was here. <laughs> anyway, hey. You don't need booze to have fun. Am I right or wrong? You're right. 94, there were no juice bars. Go in there and have no. some juice. But well, they could have put up a sign, we'll be back in four months, please bear with us. We're under <laughs> yeah, renovation. exactly. Right. Yeah, there's been some deaths attributed to us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Under renovation, but everybody in, all the locals know exactly what right. happened. Yeah. Renovation. Yeah, no, I'm sure that was the end of it. I'm yeah, sure that was, that was the well, end of Gary's Well, it was dangerous. It was a day, North Avenue was very dangerous at that time. There was a lot of traffic. It was a... It was definitely a location you could see problems happening. But by the way, like uh, the place that's there now, there have been a couple bars that I'm sure exactly where Gary's Barley Corn was. Sure. And that's what they're all known for is serving right. alcohol to underage girls because the high school, it's because across I, from the high school. The high school, the college. And I own right there. there, yeah. Mm. Oh, the owner was arrested in a gambling raid in 97. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not a great guy. Three years later, it was still going. Not a great guy. Not a great guy. But I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad. I feel like you have a, a local reference, Colin, to most. Yeah, most suburbs the of New York. Area yeah. place. Yeah. So I used yeah. to travel around, try to make new people, friends. You did, but as column. Yeah, well, column too. Yeah, of course. I wasn't column that night, but columns. Columns served me well. If I if I was just a little more of a sociopath, I would have used them even when I was not drinking. Because I can do the accent. A lot of people can't do the accent. I never heard it. Column. <laughs> Ask me something. I'll speak in column. Well, um, what would you say when you'd walk in if a girl would ask you where you're from? Yeah, like, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Ireland. Ireland. And what's your name? Column. What part of Ireland are you from? Belfast. The oh. North. Oh, the the North. Is there a lot of violence there? The North. It's terrible. <laughs> what's, it's brought you to, what's brought you to North Ave all the way from... Love. What's that? What's brought you to North Ave all the way from Belfast? A couple of mates of mine that are living up here. Working construction down in the Bronx. What are you doing here in Gary's Barley Corn? <laughs> I just came for a quiet pint. Oh. I didn't realize it was this kind of bar. What kind of bar? Oh, like a, a pickup joint. Hey, Column, D Bag's back. <laughs> Hello, D Bag. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> D Bag. Yes, sir. Can you answer yeah. me this? Um, when, you were cons when you were purchasing breakfast for Jim, did you ever consider <laughs> that after I had my muffin, I might want some fucking eggs and bacon too? <laughs> did you not get Column any eggs or bacon? Let me ask you this, D bag. Or a potato. Tea bag from D bag. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said, he said he one tea bag. He did his line. Yeah, he did what he was supposed to do. Good. He did the line. But what about eggs for oh, Column? Look, look. 
What oh. the fuck? You gotta be kidding me. No, 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 no. What do you mean you gotta be kidding me? How is this news to you? Two How do tea you not bags. Check? Did you ask for one tea bag? No, he didn't. The he only didn't. way you can make up for it is by telling Roland to bring more of those donuts in. Yeah. You didn't. A- you didn't ask, did you? Standard there? If there's any that left. Oh, it's two. T- <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> tea bag. I ordered. I ordered an English breakfast tea. Explain to me this. With one tea bag. <laughs> why would no. we standard to give two? No. Listen. How many tea bag? You talk. On the Plano mind list. You talk too much, you don't listen. That's right. That's your problem, d Yeah, That's right. Why? The gums are flapping. Why would we spend that amount of time yes. saying one tea bag? Yeah. If it wasn't something that you could say to the cashier. Yep. Why? Well, why wouldn't you assume, well, Colin Quinn, you know, he probably goes there all the time, and that's why he says one tea bag, because they always give you two tea bags. It probably irks him, because he said it's too strong, the first tea that Roland got. Why wouldn't I assume he knows more than me about this particular thing? I don't drink fucking tea. I'm d bag. <laughs> like, you know like I mean? and you yeah. had to know, you, you had the line. You fucking asshole! You fucked up! <laughs> <laughs> you had the line all prepared. The one tea bag is you crucial. Yeah. Why would you not make absolutely sure that there would be one tea bag. Yeah. You just walked in with a cup of tea, <laughs> handed Colin Quinn a cup, said, Here's one tea bag from D bag, and there's two tea bags yeah, in you it. You should have said tea bags from D bag <laughs> yeah. on your nose. <laughs> D bags. <laughs> I mean, you got the you set the line. It was factually incorrect. You teffed up. You tefted the whole operation. He got intimidated by the sister behind the counter. She's like, "What? Hurry up! Who's next?" And he's like, "Ha ha! Just uh, one tea bag. Uh, one tea, please." You yeah. didn't even bother asking. And the sad thing is that they would have gave you the other tea bag anyway on the side, which is what they do for on me. the sly. Yeah, we would have had an extra tea bag sitting here right now. And you could have had another tea after if you wanted. If I wanted. When yeah. Paul Schrader came in, maybe you want some tea by that yeah. point. Right. It's a great I'll be point. Like, Paul, let me ask you something. It took you three days <laughs> to write a Taxi Driver. What if he goes, no, nah, that's bullshit. Only idiots think that. <laughs> <laughs> that's really kind of un- uncalled for. Travis, you spent some time as an intern in there, right? A long time. Did you ever teft anything up as no. bad <laughs> as D Bag is right now? No. What would you have done if you were down there? I would have said, can I make sure that there's one tea bag in there? And then when I got the tea, I would have opened it up and checked how many tea bags Oh, Travis! Did you hear what he said? That's why he I'm he here. It up. Yeah. yeah. That's right. You hear what he said? That's why I'm here. Oh! oh. True. He's pointing at Sam's asshole. <laughs> That's right, tea bag. You want to get in there? And his mother's there. He's pointing at Israel. <laughs> I don't know where she is. <laughs> Who made the mistake here, D-Bag? I fucked up. You did, didn't you? Yeah. What a disgrace it is. Here's what I want you to do. The tea even tastes a little weird. Yeah, of course it does. There's too much in there. But go down. You're going to have to go like down and get another squared. one. <laughs> and I'll tell you why you have to go down and get another one. Because you need you need the reps. You need this exercise. You need to be able to complete this exercise effectively. Well, That's wait true. a minute. Let's not be so hard on him. Well, because if you, I don't have to go all the way down there just for a cup of tea. Look, here's I'll the... also take some eggs. I <laughs> <laughs> some fucking sausage. Get moving, boy. Move, <laughs> move, boy. <laughs> you fucking hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Colin is he's getting ragefully angry. <laughs> he's literally his fingers almost gone. Only, he's biting it so the only hard. The I'm getting mad is because I don't like <laughs> I don't like D bags. <laughs> As he gets calmer and just has a little sneer on his face towards yeah. us, he does. We say. He's, he's completely seething. He's completely looking down on the whole thing. You know what D bag in his seething. He'd never admit it, but you know what he thinks the problem is. <laughs> yeah. He goes like this. You know what the problem is. I work with a bunch of fucking assholes. That's what the problem is. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm supposed to be a fucking associate producer. <laughs> I thought I'd have some asshole I could yell at and make go get yeah. the fucking tape. Right, I was ex- which is a good point. You guys don't have any interns, huh? I was excited that Colin was coming in. I didn't realize he was an ungrateful fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> he should be he, so lucky. He thought after last time we bonded, so this time we'd be a little, you know. That's what I he know. said. I thought we made progress. He's gonna mumble on his way out here. Go down and get your own tea, scooter boy. <laughs> He's going to spit in my eggs like in Casino. Yes, yeah, yes. When they spit in the guy's food, that was disgusting. All right, D-Bag, so what's the assignment? What kind of eggs would you like, Colin? Good. Ooh. Good. I like the kind of eggs that come with a smile, not with a resentful. <laughs> <laughs> and none of that sarcastic bullshit either. You're lucky. A minute ago, he's a legend. Now you don't want to get him eggs. Yeah. I mean, what he's happened? He's still a legend. What happened? Now he's just a one-footed old man. Who's <laughs> <a> fucking... <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, tell some boring story about New Rochelle. Yeah. <laughs> this D bag, I tell you. Yeah, I got beat up for by, for fingering a six year old behind a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> for for slipping her the old Bernie fine. <laughs> D bag. You guys are really trying to Donald Trump Jew me, Jew, junior me. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jew you. Donald Trump Jew me. Yeah. Taft comment. <laughs> so uh, yeah, what do you? Uh, What's the assignment here, D bag? I don't I don't know what column. I don't either. Yet. What kind of eggs you want? Some scrambled, Would you sunny get, side up. I always get I always get egg white omelet with where'd some avocado. Where would you top. get them from? That you'd have to ask him. Where would you get them from? Toasties. Toasties? That's <laughs> lame. Is it good? It's not bad. I eat it every day. Uh, all right. I'll have... Uh, I'll uh, have what he's having. I'll have a, a bacon omelet from Toasties. You got that? Any? Do you want anything else in it besides bacon or just eggs and bacon? No. Just bacon, thanks. Okay. Well, you don't approve? You think I should have all the spicy? No, it sounds he does. He's like, He's like, what kind of boring omelet is that? What kind of toast? What kind of toast? Would you like toast with it? d like, if that was me, man, I'd get onions and mushrooms. Yeah. What kind of toast? But he goes like this. Unfortunately, no, there's, no, there's no D-bag for me to bark my orders at. Home fries, <laughs> Colin? It is true. No home fries. It is true that you expect the associate producer would have one intern he could yell at. Well, I mean, you would. Everybody but... needs one person down the chain of command that they can then abuse. But that sounds like D-bag's problem. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's, He's, his... that's his problem to solve. Look, either... Why don't you get one of your dumb New Hyde Park friends to come in and <laughs> pretend that he's going to be, you know... I'm sure one of your friends is like a burnout who's not going anywhere, no direction. <laughs> yeah, get yourself a nice personal assistant. A nice burnout. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice. I don't know. Well, I mean, what are you going to find, a highly motivated guy to come in and do D-bag work for free? I guess, I guess not. You know what I mean? You need yeah. a burnout. Colin's right. D-bag Who do you like, have to speak to? Travis? Like you talking to him this way in front of Colin. <laughs> he doesn't like that. I think that. resents that. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mind what's just the gang. <laughs> when <there's> company. <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, yeah. look, Paul Schrader's coming in and Willem Dafoe. Think about that. You yeah. know what You know what D-Bag had to do uh, last week? What? He had to get himself wrapped up in uh, plastic wrap. What? And we stripped him down to his underwear. What? We wrapped him in plastic wrap, and then we put him in cocksucker red lipstick. <laughs> you did? CSR, yeah. Why? Um, <laughs> like a, like a blow-up doll? I still don't know doll? the answer to that. Was it like uh, a blow-up doll? Yeah. I didn't look like a blow-up doll. I looked like a like very a... inflated blow-up yeah. doll. We had a little Zook <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we crew moment. <laughs> we did. Yeah, that sounds kind of, uh, yeah. That sounds pretty douchey on you guys' this part. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. If no you winners. turn around, you can see. Oh, yeah, it's not actually not image. bad. Look behind you. <laughs> it's really not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, D-Bag. You got your assignments? Looks better. Looks like Edie yeah, McClure. Now, are you going <laughs> to... <laughs> are you also going to get another T? And did you guys try Good. to, like, uh, sexually abuse him while he was like that? <laughs> A little no? bit. No, he had his pants on. Yeah, but a couple of slaps in the face, pulling his face, pulling well, his lips. I didn't think of that. Pulling his lips. <laughs> pulling my lips. <laughs> All right, you got it, D-Bag? Got it. All right. Via con Dios. See you later. He's Via got con this. D-Bag. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this. What a disappointment that was, Colin, huh? Yeah. You open up that tea. You And, and when you opened it, you had to kind of know there'd be two teabags in there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. The weight of it alone probably told you it was more than one. <laughs> I mean, there were two tabs sticking out of the top. Yeah, yeah it was a little ridiculous. <laughs> it's fairly obvious. Uh, oh, boy. Let's go to Patrick. You want to call up Jim Norton and Sam Roberts this morning, you can call 866-969-1969. You can also follow us across all forms of social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and now officially YouTube as well. Oh, good. Jim YouTube. and Sam show. Oh. Yeah. You go so to- every day people can listen to the show later? Well, yeah, if you go to YouTube.com slash Jim and Sam show, you'll get to see great video of what we do in studio. And, you know, um, you guys play your cards right. You might see a little CQ live in action. That's right. Let's go to... Uh, well, the guy who would be filming CQ head on is not here. Who's that? Roland? No, D-Bag. D-Bag, <laughs> yeah, D-Bag. <laughs> not D-Bag has a lot of assignments. Yeah, he does. Well, he's got it. We, got the, we have the, the cameras running. Jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> That's D-Bag for you. Let's go to Patrick in New York. Patrick, you're on with Jim Norton and Sam Roberts, as well as Colin Quinn. Good morning, all. Good morning. Yeah, um, no one in the history of my own ever called that place Gary Barleycorn. <laughs> no one ever did. It was <laughs> no one. It was just Gary's. I, I mean, that's, <laughs> and that's it, it, so it you went closed. to you went to Iona. Yeah, actually, I graduated there in '95. So it was so just I was, it, Iona. 
I'm a guest in your country. I don't know the rules. I saw a girl today in the field. She's very yeah, beautiful. She had, she had a problem. purple ribbon. <laughs> yeah, the problem is there was a lot of guys with a lot better accents than you for for that there. They all hurt, they all hurt that accent. Before. Oh, all the Irish guys. Yeah, yeah, it's probably true. Iona. Iona, what'd you yeah. own, a car or something? Oh, brother. Well, and did you used to go to... Did you, uh, I mean, your idea of like a wild time to go down to 204th once in a while and try to uh, meet some Irish girls? Uh, yeah, we would, get, Gary's would be on, Gary's would be hot on Fridays because they had a uh, um, free keg. So it was half an hour you paid for beer and half an hour you didn't pay for beer during happy hour for like three hours. So I, and you brought your own cup. So anything with a handle. <laughs> so everybody, yeah. So anything. Yeah, so everybody would just bring in, you know, like pitchers and, you know, anything anything with a big handle on it. That, so you would just gun beer for a half an hour, and then you'd just buy like one and, and, and wait and sip it, and then, and then gun beer for another half an hour, and then stumble back. You and know, you guys would just spice. be in the dorm saying, hey, it's Friday, it's time to go out to Gary's Barley Corn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And was, no. one of the, and was one of the cut-ups would bring like a little bucket or something, go, hey, <laughs> and everyone's like, ah, oh, ha, ha, yo, Joey, yo, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but everybody would do it. it, it, it yeah, it was funny, but everybody would do it just because they would fill it up, and we were all just alcoholics. Right. So that was, you know, there and across the street was Glory Days, and I mean, and then O'Brien's was down there. They're, they're pretty much almost all of them are gone. So what yeah, did the what did to, what did the locals say when uh, Gary's? He was a local, Patrick. Well, yeah, that's why I'm He's asking Patrick. Standing there with his yeah. bucket of beer, listening to the fucking Spin Doctors in '95. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you're right. What uh, house of pain? Uh, jump around. What'd you all you know? say when Gary's had to shut its doors because they yeah. were killing kids? Yeah, when Gary Barleycorns had to close. <laughs> That's what everybody well, we called were, it, right? <laughs> Gary Barleycorns. Yeah. Could be yeah, no, but yeah, no. We were you know, we were all pissed because they started. They got got greedy and started serving you know ki- underage high school kids. You know they used to let you. Every, I mean, most of the people in the bar were underage, but you were you had an Iona ID and they got that got you in because they knew you were just walking. Right. But when they started letting high school kids in that were driving, then that became the problem. Because I mean, everybody in there. I mean, I, I when I first started going there, I was going there. A buddy of mine went there a year before me, and I was at I went to Bergen Community what College, are you majoring? In Jersey. <laughs> yeah, ex- what is this? Uh, All right, Patrick. Let's go to uh, let's <laughs> just go to, spiraling into information. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, a friend of mine. He, that was, Sam gave the gentlest goodbye. All right, Patrick. <laughs> we just clicked him off. The list. We just put him out of his misery. Uh, Hank in Boston. Welcome to Jim Norton and Sam Roberts with yeah. Colin Quinn today. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good. Good. Hey, I just felt badly for this kid D bag because I think he's gonna fuck up again. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> oh no! Oh well, no! Well, I mean, an omelet. An omelet has. Cheese in it, doesn't it? So he's gonna bring you. Know, you ask for eggs and bacon, but it's gonna have cheese in it too. And then Hank, I promise you. One, I promise you one thing: if there's cheese in that omelet, I'm gonna dig a left hand right into his fucking liver. <laughs> 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 I'm not playing. If there's cheese, you don't know how much I despise cheese. The, are I you not a it. cheese fan? I'm gonna take his fucking legs out. Oh boy, you don't like cheese. Uh, I wish I knew some MMA hold so I could just choke him out with like a rear naked choke hold. I love cheese. Oh, it's I don't great. like cheese. I like it in pizza. That's about it. Ah. My wife made me a quesadilla, cheese quesadilla oh, to go with my dinner last night. How it was, was it? Terrific. I you hate like quesadillas. It was the best. Do you really? I yes. They're I, so good. You just get Hank a couple. Hank brings of up them. a good point though. What if this happens? <sighs> what am I gonna do? Throw the, I'm gonna throw this tea in his face. I no, mean, here's if, the, if it, you had any real moral courage, you'd throw the omelet on the floor. Yeah, and you'd make, have and to. Make him I don't clean mess up. up the place. Like, yeah, like, like Carlo, Carlo Rizzi. To no. Make him clean it up. <laughs> no, I throw it on the floor. Yeah, and then while he bends down to pick it up, we just beat him senseless. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, here's the problem. He specifically said you just want bacon, and you were like, "Yep, just bacon." And we even uh, we even gave you a little bit of a razzing for just wanting eggs and bacon. Oh man. So if there is cheese after that, after the whole deal <laughs> that we made out of just eggs and bacon, I know. Oh, is there going to be trouble? Roland yeah. just called me. Okay. Yeah. And he said that he placed the order, so there should not be any cheese in it. So if there is cheese... Now, hold on a second. It's totally on D-Bag. So you're telling me D-Bag walks out of here, oh, I hate my... And then goes, hey, Roland, place the order. I'll yeah, go Roland, pick it up. Roland calls ahead of time, and D-Bag just picks it up. This is Jesus why, this Christ! Is, this is why D-Bag is never going to learn. He's never going to learn. He's got yeah, other people. He likes to give orders. He doesn't like to take them. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. You can see it. He's a he's a very resistant person. You yeah. can just see it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot he's of defensiveness. Looking at us like this. He was you, seething he with was rage. Seething. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And what look, he really was. He's the type of guy who likes to skip the first step, and that never, never works Sorry. out for anybody. No. You ever no. live in a house without a foundation, Colin? No. It's, it's dangerous. Yeah. It's very dangerous. The house yeah. will collapse. That's no. right, Jim. Your house will collapse without a proper foundation. <laughs> That's right. Dave going to bring us all down. All crumble us all down. He is, you know. I, I told Jim, like if, we're gonna, if we're going to do this, we need to set ourselves up for success. And That's right. The minute I see a weak link in this chain, yeah. you know, we're going to well, That's we're, right. either strengthen it or, God damn it, we'll get a new link. A you weak know? link other than the host. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> we, we can't be helped. No, no, no. We're but finished. The underlings but... can be helped. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you got going on today, Colin? Well, I got to go to PT, physical therapy. For that Achilles? Yeah. yeah. What do they do for it? Just stretch it? Oh, all kinds of stuff. You know, they, they would say without the PT, you really don't get better. So I think it's important. It's a good <laughs> lesson to put out to your listeners. You know. Yeah, no. I'm you sure they the... could call in with some of their horror stories. You do water aerobics? <laughs> no, no. There's no. no pool. It's really just stretching and jumping around on no. the ground. Not jumping, but, you know. You do squat jumps yet? No, no. It's going to be a long time. It's going to be probably a year. Before. But you can walk, right? Or at least six months. I can I can walk, but very slowly. I walk very slowly. You know, I, I feel guilty about when I said in the beginning of the show, I said Colin was stumbling down the hallway. I didn't realize you were yeah, favoring a, I didn't like that. a torn Achilles. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> Jim found that. That's, a, that's yeah, not good. I thought you were... That was like bullying. That's not yeah. good. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a problem. I thought you were just... It was just a natural stumble. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I mean um, you know, it's pretty it's pretty how severe. Lo- how long is physical therapy? An hour? Yeah, it's an hour. All right, so that's not bad. How often do you have to do it? Three times, twice, three times a week. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, are you, are you promoting your show where you're doing your show? Mm, you're not kidding I am. Okay, what where is it? Tell me about this show. Oh, I'm doing the show uh eight shows a week at the at the Cumberland Theater on West 116th Street and 14th Avenue. Uh, no, I'm just. Oh. Uh, <laughs> there's no such thing as the company. I didn't think so. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll be at uh, the brokerage this weekend. Anyway. Hey, brokerage. And what, what are you doing? I'm doing stand up and oh, sort of okay. my show. I don't know. You know. Dude, what, what's the show? Because it's well, not. It's the touche like, the touche is run its course, correct? The touche is finished. Right. Oh, it's old hat. Right. Yeah. The touche is two shows ago. To be honest with you. Yeah. Right. Uh, I just like the nickname. Yeah, the nickname just, was great. I just wanted to mention it again. Unconst was last. <laughs> <laughs> that so was it, my happiest show, The Touche. You I loved really, that one. I loved it because it was such a boring subject, <laughs> and I made it funny. But so um, is the New York story was that New York the one... story filmed already? It's gonna be on <clears throat> Netflix, and now it's a new show called called I don't know what it's called yet. Oh, what's the subject matter? Bully. It's maybe it's called Bully. It's about mm. bullying. Oh, it's really? not like a. I thought it was just like ah. a British term for like good. Bully. Yeah, have a bully, oh, bully time. Yeah. yeah, it's about bully, the history of bullying and bullies and just I hope you don't make light of it. Well, I don't really make light of it, but you know, talk about how harmful it is. Yes. I hope it is kind of about how harmful it is in a way, but yeah. I mean I like if you that. really look at it. Yeah. Right. But how many people really look at it? Do you get disappointed when your audiences sometimes don't pick up on all of the nuance and the intelligence that you put into these shows? I do. I mean, I'm it's... not talking to you, Jim. Uh, you're talking to me. Oh, yeah, sorry. None of that's there for. Uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's you know, that's what you have to be. That, that that's why theaters sometimes, like comedy clubs, the early shows are great. Right. The late shows, you know, it's uh, the 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 focus changes. You know what I mean? And then yeah. it's frustrating. Yeah. Because they're coming out of Gary's. They're coming out of Gary's. Into the comedy club. Yeah. yeah. And then you get, and they're just looking for dick jokes or whatever. Yeah, I love the fact that Patrick's like, we never called it Gary's Ball. All right. <laughs> so I wasn't from, I didn't go to Iona. I was just there one night. I was a visitor. <laughs> After all these Son years, the locals are making fun of you. <laughs> what are you, tourists? What are you from out of town? <laughs> Fucking Gary's. Leave me alone, Place, place Patrick. has been closed for 20 years. Son of a bitch. <laughs> then he made fun of my accent. He goes, there's people with better accents than that. All right. Well, everybody's disrespecting you today. I know. It all started with D-Bag. He set the tone. <laughs> he, really he really did. did. He really did. He can get away with it. Anybody can. John in Georgia, please be respectful. Oh, of course, Sammy. Uh, <laughs> I just want to say that if D Bag comes back with an omelet that has cheese on it, uh, he ought to spend the rest of the week walking around with that scooter thing, just so he knows what it's like to to live like Colin Quinn. For a week. <laughs> I think that, and I think we should cover all that plastic wrap you had on, and only cover his head with it. <laughs> See if he can breathe through it. <laughs> yeah, put a straw in his mouth and slap his face. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. Either way, he's got a lipstick that's a certain shade of red that he's going to be planting on those lips of his. Honestly, though, speaking of bully, I think D-Bag was bullied. Oh, I, you think? Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, because he's definitely got to look like, hey, I got out of school, so I don't have to deal with this bullshit. Anymore. Yeah, I'm not going to take this shit anymore. You know what I mean, and the problem is, like, I've seen the other, like he worked for a couple other shows before he was here. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did like board op work and stuff like that, and. Like, he would work with, like, girls, and the girls, he was like, oh, Derek is so cute, he's so nice, and, you know, they loved him. But the way right. he would talk to them, they didn't like it well, How would he... Don't you come in my hand, you cocksucker. I'll rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he say that? <laughs> but, so, but so for him to come here and get berated is just I, probably not in his, you know, right. planner. No. You know what I mean? He did not he did not see this coming. He probably figured this was his chance that he was gonna, this is when he'd be showing them. I'll show them. Right. right. Where right. I can get done. Yeah. Now that I have a real opportunity. Unfortunately yeah. he didn't realize he's got a lot of a lot of steps to climb here. This All, is this yeah. is the big leagues, D bag. Yeah. He's once again living in bully land and he doesn't care for it. No. Uh Dave in Canada wants to compliment Colin on uh, some of his recent work, which I think is uh is valid. Uh, Dave, Hi, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks, Sammy. Hi, Call. Hi, Dave. Hey, uh, I saw you on Compound Networks with uh, Bobo when <laughs> Anthony was away resting. Oh, thank you. I, I loved that show. That was the funniest thing I had seen. God, what? that Bobo, he was just steamrolling you the whole time. Yeah, he was. He was Speaking of his <laughs> shot, he was like uh, Eminem. He had one shot, and he was going to make the most of it. He Did was. he steamroll you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he literally kept it going. As they, I mean, he just was going the whole time. Were you annoyed? No, because he was introducing stuff. He was really like, you know, it was a very alpha performance by him. It was like, so, like, he'd bring up different topics and, you know, just, he introduced every topic. Okay. I did. I watched the he show. He prepped. I watched the show. Uh, you could tell who prepped, who didn't. I right. didn't prep. He was prepped. Well, one of Colin's uh, <sighs> big talking points, because this was when Anthony was in rehab and he was having subs fill in for him. And uh, Colin Quinn and Bobo <laughs> was one of the shows. Yeah. <laughs> Which, did you think at any point where you like, I don't know if I'm, if I should be agreeing to this? No, 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 not at all. There was always I knew like, it was, yeah. I knew it was a good, you know. <laughs> or at one, at one point while it was happening, did you think this might actually have some legs? Uh, no. <laughs> he goes, because no. Colin's main contribution to the show was about 20 minutes in finding out it was a two-hour show, not a one-hour show. Yeah, that so was he goes, horrific. We're not uh, doing this for two hours. <laughs> There's no way. No. Did you? Yeah. It was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did the full show, but Bobo would come up with a topic, and then Colin would comment on it, and then Bobo would come up with the next topic. Like, he just kept yes. throwing topic, topic, topic. Yeah. There was no conversation. I know. But a lot of topics. Well, Radio is really not my, my thing. I have to be honest. You it's, don't think why so? Why don't you like it? I don't know. You like to I've, talk. You're unpleasant uh, to look at. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking home run for you. You're right. I'm just not a radio guy. I don't know what it is. Huh. You don't enjoy it or you don't think you're good at it? I don't enjoy it. And huh. I don't think I'm good at it. You are good at it. It's two things. that are Two combinations. What don't you enjoy about it? Do you not like the topical nature of it? Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's very hard to do radio. Yeah, it takes I you have to do hours a day and deal with the, all these goddamn topics every day. You know what I mean? Like you just it's hard. Right. Well, the name of our show is is, is probably pretty intimidating. Anything well, can happen. That's what it's called. <laughs> Exclamation point. That's our, yeah. Any, no, we're thinking of calling it that. Right. I don't like that title. What do you think is a good title? Um. What about? Uh, Wingless Moth and <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Ugly Blake Griffin. That's, I, that's, I don't, think I don't anything, like that. I don't think things. <laughs> well, let's, don't. let's cut this off right now. I don't think anything that is mocking our appearances is going to be helpful. Right, right. That's just not going to fly with us. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it's a lovely title. <laughs> I think anything can happen sets the table for unpredictability, which yes. is what we want on the show. No, I do agree. I think Wingless Moth is, 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 is a little jab, a subtle jab at my appearance. <laughs> Really? You, now, you don't think ugly Blake? <laughs> ugly Blake Griffin? Yes. <laughs> you don't think that was a jab at me, do you? <laughs> Look, I actually, here's what's scary. I think anything can happen is a great title. <laughs> and I think you guys should call it that. Seriously, it will infuriate fans everywhere. They will hate infuriate it. all comedians when they come on. <laughs> but it's a good title. Right, right. Because it does keep... The mission statement out front, which is anything can happen. And we'll just throw topics, especially the comedians who hate it. They'll come on the show and realize why just it's keep, called yeah. that. Just keep, that's what you should really do to all the comedians, but not even talk about, is just keep peppering them with like 15 topics a show. <laughs> and go, hey, what about this? Like in the early days of comedy, you do radio, they'd be like, yeah. so leading to your act. 
So you just yeah. find yeah. Every, just look up everybody's act online. And I heard you go, flew up here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> do it for the so so do Colin. It for years and don't even bother with Corey Feldman on the Today Show. Oh. Huh? He was pretty. Pretty nuts, am I right? Well, the first time I was like, okay. The second time I was like, okay. He went there. You yeah. Know what I mean, I mean, this guy's, uh, you know, Twitter loved him though. Any wacky Twitter followers on your feed? Oh, you know Twitter. I mean, uh, I had the one guy, and I mean, I'm looking at it, and I'm going, what's this guy's? What's his problem? Wouldn't be me? the first time you got into some controversy on Twitter, am I right, no, Colin? No, no, the old Will Farrell. Well, story. let's not talk about that. Who's your favorite Twitter follow? Um, that's a good, that's a great, that's not a good question. That's a great question. Um, I like all the usual suspects, you know what I mean? The let me Rihanna ask you about, let me ask you about comedians. Kim Kardashian. Can you appreciate other comedians? Do you have a favorite comedian? You know, to me, comedy, there's no favorites. It's like, if hey, you're doing. Hey, where's D-Bag with the T anyway? <laughs> if you're getting laughs, that's, a, that's really all that matters in comedy. It doesn't matter what you're talking about. We're not talking about for that man. I think it's a good format for a show. I do too. That was an action-packed 30, 60 seconds. It sure was. Was. That was good. How long? Jim, why are you using <laughs> Purell? Don't you know that Purell is no longer valid? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean Purell is no longer I valid? use it very rarely. <laughs> they said Purell doesn't mean, right? There's something about it. It's, it's, it's useless now. There's, there's some he, big thing. No, it's if you use it too much, it right. fucks your hands up. No, I don't, not fucks your hands up. It doesn't work. This is what uh, happens. If you somebody use, Google it. I've not heard that. If you use... <laughs> it's a big thing now. If you use Purell nonstop, then it will kill the bacteria that will fight things right, off. Right, but now they're saying... But like, it if you just work. use it like every now and then, I think it's fine. Yeah, I use it occasionally. Like no. after I'm digging in my nose because my afrin is wearing off and my nose is dripping, I'll occasionally use a Purell once or twice. What? What does that have to do with this? You I just want my hands a little Once cleaner. for the hands, once for the nose. Oh, <laughs> kinda. <laughs> oh, we should probably take a break. Our first break Probably in the wait morning. Till the food comes though, because that, that might oh. be. Because then stupid has to eat, and we want to give him a. You know, you're right. Want to let people know. Want me to read on. some news? Well, let me tell you. Melania Trump says Billy Bush egged on Donald. How about Billy Bush? Well, he got screwed, huh? Yeah, he did. Well, I don't know. Wow. He's getting ten million though. Yeah, I don't know. He's got. He reached some settlement. Ten with million. NBC. Ten million is nothing to a guy like that. You don't think so? We'll go through that in six months. <laughs> <laughs> kind of blow he does. You're just a, a working Joe who understands the industry, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Billy Bush apparently settled. He's not going to sue him. He lawyered up and they settled or something. That's what I read last night. Good for him. But he's done. He's, she egged. Did she really say he egged her on? I, ew, he said, Melania. She, yeah, Melania said, it was trending last night. Billy Bush made me do it. Right. Because Melania did say that the reason that Donald Trump, he, she goes, first of all, he was just, you know, having teenage locker room talk. And Anderson Cooper astutely pointed out he was 59 years old at the time. Right. But he said, uh, she said, that's not the man that I know. And that she thinks Billy Bush was just kind of uh, oh, let's hear that. Egging, egging on the Donald to say these nasty things. Go ahead, Adrian. I wait a second so we don't have to hear the Ten days ago, intro right sounds. Access Hollywood released that tape. I'm wondering when you first saw it, when you first heard it, what did you think? Language, language, I, this is my house. <laughs> she didn't say anything. <laughs> I said to my husband that, you know, the language is inappropriate. Ah. It's not Language, young man. <laughs> and... Um, I was surprised because that is not the man that I know. And as you can see from the tape, uh, the cameras were not on. It was only a mic. And I wonder um, if they even knew that the mic was on because they, they were kind of a, a boy talk. Pause, please. And uh, she wonders if they knew the mic was on. on. Of course they didn't. <laughs> uh, egg yeah. on from of course they didn't know the mic was on. How do you no. wonder that? No, yeah. These mics are on, right? Yeah, grab them by the pussy. She's like, you know, I'm starting to think Donald never wanted that on television at all. Yeah. Wow. It's not a good interview. No, no, no. It's not a good cover. It's not good damage control. Let's let's continue this. Hang on. Keep uh keep D bag outside for a second while we continue this tape. Okay. Hit play. Hit play. Oh, Adrian. Adrian. Adrian, because he's looking at all of his own little things on the computer. He's looking at his videos. He's playing D-Bag, his songs. D-Bag, my eggs are going to get cold, cold just for a stupid... Uh, That's true. Bring in, uh, bring in our eggs. All right. Adrian blew Tell it. him to bring it in. Wait. Tell D-Bag to bring my eggs in, but to say, here are your eggs in Melania Trump's accent. <laughs> okay. D-Bag, 
Before you drop those eggs off, say, here are your eggs, Mr. Quinn, as Melania Trump. Go for it. And do the tea thing without the accent. So do the eggs first. Yep. Here are your eggs, Mr. Quinn. <laughs> a tea bag <laughs> from D-bag. <laughs> that, that was very good. That was very good. sure was. That was very good. Oh, thanks. All right, let's Ooh. check that food. Cool. What do we got on the omelet? Looks good. Oh, he even brought me a side of sausage. A little extra. Good. Good. Ooh, nice little egg omelet. That looks delicious. There's something D-Bag doesn't know about me. What's that? When I eat eggs, I can't drink tea with eggs. That's for, like, muffins. Of course. I need that's... a Diet Coke. D-Bag, <laughs> how is he going to eat eggs without a Diet Coke? That's I a good know, point. I'm a fucking idiot. Let well. Me, let me go. Why are you not? What are you doing putting your tea bag and your fucking equals all over half your muffin? I'm done with the muffin. D-Bag, you're oh. going to sit here and stare at a guy who wants a Diet Coke? You're going to bring him the Coke. You know what I'm saying? That was a pretty good accent he did. Yeah. He, he did very, very well. I guess New Hard Pod has a, a big Eastern European population where he learned how to do that accent pretty good. Let's let's hear from Melania. Lead on like uh, egg on from uh, the host to say um, dirty and bad stuff. You, you feel Awful. the host Billy Bush was sort of egging him on? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Is that language you had heard? You throw Billy before? Bush under the bus for this? No. No, that's why I was surprised, uh, because I said, like, I don't know that person that would talk that way. Language, and, language. Uh, <laughs> that he would say that kind of a stuff in private. I heard many So she people. thinks Billy Bush egged him on. What a fucking To say horrible, dirty, dirty things. What a horrible fucking bit of damage control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was terrible. Don't blame me. Don't blame my husband. Blame Billy Bush. Billy Bush did it. What's Billy going to do now? You think he's going to start his own entertainment network? I heard they want him on Dancing with the Star. He'll be fine. Hosting it? No, just, you know, dancing. Well, I guess that's a, that's short term, though. Do the hustle. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got there? Oh, a little, oh, little DC. Thank you, Melania. Wait, wait, wait. D-Bag. Go up to Colin and say, enjoy a DC from DB. Go right up to him and say it, though. Not from there. Yes, Diet Coke. From, the mic. Yeah. Right in my eyes. As Melania or as me? No, as you, because you're DB. Yeah. Enjoy this DC from DB. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, what a charming fellow. What he you does. He guy? says it with a smile. Let me tell you something, D-Bag. That looks good. You're doing great today. You know that? You, you really are. Muffin, you are do Help yourself to a muffin, yeah. D-Bag. Help yourself Whoa. to a muffin. Well, Eat a I couple guess of want another things muffin? That, things are heating up around here, aren't they? Yeah. You want another muffin to go with those eggs no, in DC? No, not yet. You guys not are killing me. Not yet. Enjoy. What kind of muffin did you get there, <laughs> D-Bag? What kind of muffin are we going to enjoy? What do we got there? It looks like blueberry. a cinnamon... I, I don't know. Blueberry, I think. Cinnamon blueberry or something like that? It looks fucking do delicious. Oh, that sounds great, Is there a buddy. picture of what Roland's wearing when he's supposedly in official capacity? It's really Where's insane. It uh, maybe we should have Roland come in studio and pose for a nice uh, Twitter photo shoot. Ugh. We're going to take a... What's wrong? Just Roland's outfit is bothering me. <laughs> you see it every day, you don't notice it. It's like being in an abusive relationship. Uh -huh. That's someone points it out. Like, why do you take that? You're like, well, yeah, you're right. For some <laughs> reason, he's... And I don't know if he's trying to get plug on-air plugs. I think it's funny. His thing now... You know, he used to wear Bruce t-shirts every day. Now he wears Scrub Daddy. Every single day. He's got <clears throat> blue Scrub Daddy shirts and orange Scrub Daddy shirts. So do I. I wore my blue Scrub Daddy shirt to see Black Sabbath at the second night they were at the uh, garden. Uh, uh. And uh, I was in the fucking, I was in this little VIP area with Sharon Osbourne, and she looked at me like I walked in with a fucking dick strap to my chest. Why like, would you wear that to a Sabbath show? That was the look I got. <laughs> <laughs> Why, why, yeah, why, why would you do that? I'm an embarrassment. You are, right? Yes. Too much now. You, you heard what so? Trump said about grab the you-know-what? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Jim. It's a morning show, you know? I don't know if we want to go in that direction. <laughs> grab the you-know-what. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't take it anymore. D-bag, Colin needs a new order. I need a new order. A new order, okay. You're the intern? No, no. He'll, he'll, I love it. You know, really? you know he's not the intern because he grabs the mic to answer the question. I know. <laughs> What can I help you with? What is your title? Joe Manchi. Yeah. Associate producer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's going to change. <laughs> That's going to change very shortly. Okay. So you're getting, are you getting my order? Don't you feel like you're too big for it since you're an associate producer? You're, you're, you're a legend, so yeah, he's it's got not a point. problem for me. Would you do that for Paul Schrader? Did you know he wrote Taxi Driver? Uh, I did not, but... No, he did. Nobody does their homework. I know, but Paul Schrader is like fucking right next to Scorsese. He's like the most famous, you know... Norton, the, wow, wow. Let's, I'm I mean, shocked Scorsese's... that Jim Norton didn't know that about Paul Schrader, to be honest with you. Yeah. He's, he's a guy that would know that. He's a director, too, you know, this Paul Schrader. 
Yeah, he's directed many movies. He has. He directed Shit. this new movie with Willem Dafoe. That's why he's he coming. He might have wrote Hardcore too. He did. Well, he directed it. Wow. See, he, he he did direct. If Jim wasn't so tired, he'd be excited about Paul Schrader today. I know, I'm excited. I'm, I, but I'm literally, I'm fucking dead on my feet. You better have a couple of cups of coffee. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I'm a real bee without my coffee. <laughs> he did direct a film I love a lot. What film is that? Blue Collar. Oh, oh. Richard Pryor. I would love to ask him about that. And Harvey I like Keitel. Richard. Ask Richard Pryor. I like his stand up. I didn't see it. I just saw his movies. <laughs> you ever see Bustin' Loose? Uh, the kid, the one with Gleason, the toy. Hey, listen, kid. What's your name? Derek. And what, Derek? Yeah, D bag. I go by. Ah. <laughs> I didn't ask for it. it did. No, no, don't, don't, don't try. To, you just well, took I, ownership I, of I it when you said it, so. and then yeah. you took ownership, <laughs> and then Colin just kind of stared at you coldly, yeah. and so you lost confidence in your nickname. Of course, it's the worst nickname ever. <laughs> oh, it's horrendous. I mean, you think D bag's a good nickname? No, it's I didn't ask for it. D bag. You guys are right. It's like a. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you it's see. Like, <laughs> It's like a horrible, like, frat nickname from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. good. But you took, you took great pride in it when you presented yourself as that just now. Like, literally 30 seconds ago yeah, when you I said it. You, I don't know what you thought was going to happen. I was going to rear back to <laughs> my seat cackling. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, yeah, the name's Derek, but they call me D-Bag. <laughs> well, I don't know. I didn't ask for it. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't ask for Do it. Do you think that he thought it was going to be a real chuckle getter? <laughs> 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 Oh, D bag! <laughs> you played this one all wrong, D bag. Yeah. <laughs> you can call me once. At just least let him see the tattoo. So there's something oh, going on. Jesus. Just don't call me late for supper. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you need from D bag? I don't know. Um, like, do they have any like, kind of like fun muffins and stuff? Like, isn't that fun, fun muffins? It's a yeah, fun like muffin. A delicious That's what I call blueberry assholes. muffin. <laughs> <laughs> we we played this game before, Colin. Do you have a f- oh. Ew. <laughs> no, he sent me out for muffins once, and I had to go in and out five times. We played this game before. <laughs> I ended up at Magnolia, though, have so you it seems been, like the same yeah. Have you ever been so disrespected at a radio <laughs> no, show before? I kind of like You got it. nobody greeting you. Like Your lines are falling <laughs> flat with the host. No, I snuck got- away from the greeting because... I was ashamed of Roland's oh, outfit. That's right, I forgot. <laughs> and now you got the intern being like, I'm not uh, an intern. we've played this game before, Colin. <laughs> he's, he's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're, right. You're right. He does think he's too big for it. <laughs> we played this game before. <laughs> we played this game before. Yeah. Well, guess what? To me, it's no game, young man. <laughs> okay. I'll take a magnolia, <laughs> blueberry muffin, and another tea, please. Make sure it's one of the fun muffins, though. English breakfast. (laughs) If they don't have any blueberry muffins, get, like, you know, a fun fucking donut or whatever they have. Okay. Like a morning thing. Don't be coming back with a cookie like it's two in the afternoon. The breakfast. Yeah, like a breakfast treat. How about okay. a how about a uh, how about a corn muffin? Oh no, fuck corn muffins! I haven't eaten those since I was a little kid. You don't like corn muffins? It's useless. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little sweetness to them. I don't mind a corn. There's muffin. no sweetness. That's the problem. Corn muffins are sweet. Blueberry muffins are sweet. You're going Ooh. to the wrong place for these corn muffins if they're not sweet. How about a bran muffin? Oh, the worst. <laughs> I'm a bran muffin. No, <laughs> <laughs> my treat. Maybe a donut or something. They have donuts there. What about Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah, maybe a Dunkin' Donuts, but I don't like the tea there. Well, you you get D-Bag stopping a couple places, even yeah, though he's not right. an intern. <laughs> even though last time we've been through this. <laughs> yeah. No, Colin. <laughs> not D-Bag, multiple parents. D-Bag, D-Bag's like, this is not my first rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Colin wants a donut. Yeah, let me explain something to you, Colin. Associate producer means <laughs> I've been on this ride before, okay? <laughs> I'm not some guy just starting out. <laughs> Where do you live? Long Island. Ooh, where? <laughs> New High Park. Jesus Christ, how the hell do you get here every day? Just the tires? <laughs> <laughs> you got hey, you got your name on taxi driver, it's great. It's like, you mean the movie I wrote in a fucking <laughs> whirlwind of pain and loneliness for three days in fucking 1975? Yeah. How do you write it so fast? It's, that's not good work. That's rushed. He's also <laughs> <laughs> he's also one of the writers of Raging Bull. Yeah, I'm looking at that. American Jigolo is right. Or Raging, or Raging Bull, as we call it. I don't know I say about <laughs> Raging, Raging Bull. Bull. Yeah. American <laughs> Gigolo is very good. Yeah. Yeah, he's written a lot of very good movies. Ameri- he directed American this American Gigolo is horrible. No, I just good. saw it three days ago. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I haven't seen it in years, so I, 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 I might have to defer. <laughs> it just happened to be on the other day, and oh, I was okay. watching it on Oxygen. So was it, it bad? The same, uh, <laughs> the, uh, I like the opening <laughs> scene with oh, Blondie's song, yeah, Call Me. that was a good one. It was, right? Blondie was really good in her song, but the rest of the movie wasn't that great. 
where you just scrolling through the channels and you just saw American Gigolo was on oxygen. You yeah. go, let me stop here. Yep. Let me, let me take exactly a look. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I only watched about a quarter of it, to be fair. Do you yeah. ever see Pretty Woman? Yes. That's a good one. That was a searing indictment of uh, human trafficking right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, they did good at the end. I don't think that was... <laughs> <laughs> they did good. You know... Uh, you said uh, Gear and you guys did good at the end yeah. of that one. <laughs> Jim's in the news again. What? For Donald Trump Jr. Oh, I saw the Trump Jr. thing. Why they, is Jim in there? Well, because they keep going back to old audio. I haven't listened to the clip. And they have like... They're, they're pulling up... They were like, when... when Donald Trump Jr. was on some show called The Six Pack, and then Opie and Anthony, and then Opie and Jim Norton, he said things like, oh. and it was, they were uh, uh, mad at him because he said, you can't make fun of fat people anymore. Right. Or there was one little joke, I don't even remember him making the joke to tell you the truth, but he, after the movie theater shooting, the big oh, one, yeah. you guys were playing audio. Right. And his joke after it was, uh, two thumbs up. For the movie, you know, trivializing. Right, right. And now they've taken that, and they were like four years, five years, however years later it is, they're making it, you know, into a news story. Yeah, I, I sent him an email and said, if you want to come on, you know, if not, I'm not pushing out that vid audio. No. Who the fuck? I mean, yeah. they, they just they just dig through archives, the, the press, that's what they do. Didn't Stern say he's not going to send stuff out because he feels like it's backstabbing we, his guests? Yeah, they he were right. saying he was saying that he he could have easily just put on a best of right. Trump on the show. Yeah, yeah, sure. But he's not going to do that. Yeah, no, he shouldn't. It's amazing though how far they're digging. Like yeah. the, it's the oh, kid yeah. Yeah, on the I show know. talking about wanting to make fun of fat people. Like it's yeah. it's a complete non-issue. No. But then on the other side, this morning I walked in here and Fox and News so was Roland. on. Speaking of fat people. No, <laughs> Is he fat? I haven't even noticed. Whoa. I don't body shame. <laughs> <laughs> and how? <laughs> I, I walked in and Fox News was on and they had some author on who was talking about Hillary Clinton. Yeah. And his big indictment of her was, you know, when she was Secretary of State, she took the lamps home with her. Oh. And it was like it was like the the anchors of Fox News were outraged. They were going, Well, I don't understand. If Hillary's rich why would she have to take the lamps home with her? And he goes, you know what it is? It's a sense of entitlement. She, That's what it she is. She brought those lamps home, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Can't find it. Yeah, she brought the lamps home. Oh. Damn it, my fingers. It's tired. a press, not a push or a tap. No, I just can't find it. It's they, She brought the lamps home. God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, there it is. How far better it is to strike a match than curse the darkness. So true. Because <laughs> she, she wanted the room to yes. be well lit. I see. Yeah, she was. Uh, their, their, their big like story on Hillary this morning was she stole the lamps when she was Secretary of State, and all the Secret Service hated working for her because she cursed at them. Well, that's that's a little more interesting. <laughs> she said, they said on the thing that all the Secret Service people said that they would say good morning, and she would respond with four-letter words. <laughs> like, fuck you. I don't believe that. <laughs> good morning, cunt. All right. yeah. Good morning. <laughs> fuck you, good morning. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yourself. I love the idea oh, of that being in a true. Bad mood. Yeah, it probably is true. Yeah. I don't know if I Eat believe shit. that. shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if when she, she would just say fuck Maybe you. Maybe she just gave him the finger. <laughs> Maybe she thought they were sarcastic because of the oh, drama at the time. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. morning. Oh, oh shit. Good, good morning. morning. I'm going to fucking Sri Lanka this morning. What's so good about it? <laughs> Maybe. It was the Secretary of State, you know. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this show's not going to be successful if you discourage your hot guests like me <laughs> in, the first, in the first segment. I'm just very tired. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the intern? I demand a new order. So have you been enjoying watching the election, or are you spending your time watching, you know, old movies and stuff on oxygen to escape it all? Maybe you didn't fucking hear what I said, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's just so annoying. It makes everyone sick now. Everyone's sick. Yeah. Election fatigue, I'd call it. No, but I mean, it is sitting on the trundling on the train. Yeah. Trying to let people know, that, you know, you're more than just an intern. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got to no, go no associate cares, produce. Though. What time do you leave in the morning? Uh, now I leave at the 6.01 train, which isn't bad, but it's, that's because we're starting, you know. At let's be now. honest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even though you're the associate producer. Yeah. Someone in the family drops you off at the train. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I drive to the train. <laughs> 
All right, D-Bag. So you want a, a donut? We, we need... Go I get Colin. Something. You know, I, here's what you do. I need more coffee. I'll bring yeah. a dozen donuts for the boys. Go, no. get, a, go get a dozen uh, donuts for the boys. Yeah, Willem Dafoe probably wants a donut. He wants it. Of He's course not he getting wants a, a donut. donut. He's it's, been in shape for 30 years. It's yeah, like Michael it, Douglas says, surprise me, sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know what your cheap salesman talk. Give me a surprise. Yeah, get him a donut from Andacott Steel. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Horseshoe wants a donut. <laughs> go pick up a dozen donuts, and then go to a dip, go to Magnolia. No, don't get what the f- no, don't get a what blueberry. The fuck? Are you fucking crazy? I want coffee. Here's what you I'm do. Really tired. <laughs> okay, this is good. Thank you. You can get an English uh, English breakfast from Starbucks, right? <laughs> yeah. So. One tea bag though. Roland tried to hook oh. me up with two, but it got too strong. One tea bag, D bag. <laughs> <laughs> D bag. What are we doing? A dozen donuts from where? Dunkin' Donuts. Need a dozen donuts. We need a dozen. I can't eat a donut. Well, then you won't have one of the dozen. Willem Dafoe might want one. He's Willem... not. He's got a <laughs> fucking. He's been in great abs. Press days or cheat days for Willem Dafoe. He'll have a donut. Yeah. So you're gonna get a dozen donuts. <laughs> Make a little variety in there. That way CQ can have his pick. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Then you go to Starbucks. Oh, donuts. I know. Then you go to Starbucks. You get Mr. Norton a coffee. You get CQ an English breakfast with how many tea bags? Uno. One. One tea. And then what when size you... with one tea bag? A large or one tea bag? Is that diluted. large one. How do you like a large or one tea bag that's diluted tea? No, this Not is too, too strong. strong. Oh. I was over drinking a cup of coffee for crying out loud. And when it's you inside <laughs> joke among the tea drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> and when you come back in here with all the stuff, uh-huh. you first you put down the donuts, then you put down the coffee, then you walk over to Colin and you go one tea bag from D bag and you put it right in front of him. <laughs> Is okay, that how you want me to do it? Yeah. of course. I, li- I like you see because Sam's done these jobs. I like the fact I like him in charge, like giving out the orders the way it's done properly. This he's, is how it's done. He's showing how it how it's how you start in look a at, professional look at way. He's sitting on top of that fucking large sheet. Yes, yes. <laughs> all right. Well, then what are you still looking at me for, D-Bag? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you had your marching orders and you kept staring. You got staring. your assignment. <laughs> go, D-Bag, go. All right. And what do Whoa! we have? Some kind of uh Wait Rose. a minute. Hold Rose. on. Oh, oh, we may. We may. Roland made D-Bag just. Oh. Oh, oh my that God. That order may not be needed. That order's not needed. Roland Blueberry just walked in. Ship cinnamon. What's that? What's Blueberry? chocolate ship? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> There's you need a f- chocolate chip, Scorpio. Yeah. yeah, bring one of those <laughs> chocolate ships over here. Yeah. Shit. You this is great. Inside a bottle. <laughs> These things are the greatest. Thank you, Roland. Oh, boy. Look at that D-bag. All wow. this time. Sugar. Holy motherfucker. These things are incredible. <laughs> Lemon and chocolate chip. Jesus, and that's blueberry, isn't it? Yes. Wow. D-bag, can I tell Why'd you what you the lesson two? is here? Treat yourself to oh, that. No, these are too big. D bag needs to learn a lesson here. <laughs> D bag learned a lesson the hard way just now. It's exactly Roland showed all, him how it's done. All this true. time you were in here yapping about whether you were an associate producer or what your <laughs> nickname was or yeah. uh, you know who drove you to the train or whatever it was. <laughs> Roland was downstairs doing yeah. showing you That's up. That's right. Roland looked at Colin and said, "What's your pleasure, young fella?" <laughs> <laughs> it finally worked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you understand what happened there, D-Bag? Yeah, D-Bag. Well, yeah. That, that's probably, I went in the hallway and I heard Colin say something about a muffin when I walked out. And I was like... Maybe you should have had those ears open well, when I he said, said it. to Roland, I'm probably going to get sent to Magnolia <sighs> Bakery. And then I guess uh, he was proactive about the situation. That's and right. what were you? Cared. Well, I don't like uh, the fact that you're trying to take things. credit for bringing up Magnolia. And then that Roland, is true. Exactly. Roland, Roland, came, scurried through. Roland off. came through. He's no, off, no, it's more than came through. You're trying to say he scurried off the minute you said Magnolia. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying that Roland stole his idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what happened here, D-Bag. You were doing a lot of this gum flapping. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and Roland was getting the job done. You see you what have, happened? You're having a pity party because of that 6 a.m. to the New Hyde Park every day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you were gum flapping while Roland was lazily trudging. Yeah. These guys get up at 7. 15 and fucking then they complain. I'm the one that's got up at 5. That's what you were saying. And look what happened. I don't remember saying that. So, you know, you could get up whatever time. Apparently, Roland's getting up a couple minutes before you mm-hmm. are. Because that early bird got this warm. Unbelievable. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. excuse Roland's outfit. No, let me, doesn't. Let me ask you something. What? I walked and turned around and ran in the other door because of the way Roland looked. You were I'm embarrassed. Not even kidding. <laughs> you were embarrassed. Yes. <laughs> d Are you going to sit here and listen about Roland's outfit? No, I'm going to go. <laughs> Somebody's thirsty. Yeah. That yeah. tea is still too strong. Me and Kyle are both thirsty. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> this is absurd. How is that? How's your muffin? Uh, it's delicious. It it's is incredible. Good, right? Fuck. So this you were, muffin's unbelievable. 
You were you were you were put off by Roland's outfit this morning. <laughs> yeah, it was real. No, it was real. I mean, look at me. I'm dressed like a bum, but I was like, Jesus Christ. Well, you're not an employee here. You're <laughs> no, a guest. No, it was terrible. But it's also you're wearing like grays and navies and stuff. There's something about a bright orange. A bright orange really... on a big ma- on a mad Turk. <laughs> really. <laughs> He really is. <laughs> How's your leg, man? You look like you're all healed up. He's a guy in any strange town that the cops would just pull him right over and the whole town would go, yeah, he, he's the one that did it. Bring him in. And he'd be like, no, I didn't. And he'd be, he'd be guilty his charge. I don't like how you adored my concern. Well, my leg is not better, as a matter of fact. Oh. My Achilles. I, what happened I to the leg? I tore my Achilles a couple. Well, yeah. it's kind of an interesting story. I was, I was on the set of the Sandler movie a couple of months ago. Oh. They want to play basketball. So I was like, I'll play the game, even though I was kind of hesitant. Yeah. And I was like playing. I was like, you know what? I'm not old. My I can still play. This is great. And then I heard pop. And there I was you heard screaming. It? Yeah, I heard you the were pop. Scre- you were screaming? Yeah, the Achilles tour. And it was on the oh. set. But the fun part was it was on on the set. They had basketball. It was on the set of a mansion. The mansion where Jack Waltz found the horse's head in his bed. Wow, well, that then a horse's kind of ass hurt himself. <laughs> <laughs> they found a, a horse's ass grabbing his ankle on the basketball court. <laughs> now, fellas. <laughs> okay, oh, that's just a great house. Wow. It was so really cool. You were playing basketball? Was we it, went did, in the pool and everything. Did, did that used to be Chaplin's house? It was. Oh, really? It was Charlie Chaplin's house, yeah. Did you jump up and then land on it weird? Like, no, how did I you... just... It always happens when you're standing still and you just run suddenly. Oh. That's when it happens. When you made a move. Mm-hmm. Did that make you feel old, too, that you didn't actually do anything? It just, right. All of a sudden, your Achilles just decides to give up on yeah. you. Yeah. How long did it take help to get there? Where did you guys go to the hospital? Well, I went to the hospital in a couple of days. No, I foolishly just figured it was swollen, even though I heard the pop like an idiot. So I went the next day to the airport and walked through the airport like a fool. I heard. The new Kennedy extension was takes like 20 minutes. And, um, Delta. Yeah. He must have flown Delta. Maybe it was Delta. But it was quite a pain in the ass. And then um, then Ooh. I had the operation next week. Oh, you didn't do it yet? No, no, I had it eight weeks ago. Oh, the next week. I, I was on a scooter. I, yeah, I remember. So why is it still Scootering around. You were on a scooter? Well, it takes it takes a year. To, oh. to, it takes six months before you recover. All right, but you can walk without the cane. I can walk without the cane, but very slowly. Was that embarrassing to have to walk with a cane? No, it was. I was on a scooter, for Christ's <laughs> sake. That was the worst. Scootering on the streets like an idiot. People looked at me like, this guy's washed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were like, oh, is, the, is that the weekend update guy on yeah. that, on oh, that no. scooter? Immobile? Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Scootering through the streets. Oh. That's not. Oh, and he got Jim the coffee. Roland's on fire today. Thank you, Roland. Roland is. Roland is. You have to come back. Let me tell you something, Roland. D bag is being made to look like quite a fool because of you. (laughs) You're really. That nickname is starting to fit more and more. Oh, Roland probably just had a cup in the back and he put just fucking private company coffee in there and put ice in it. (laughs) Play a scammy run. (laughs) (laughs) There Uh, I am. Look on the screen. Oh, just scootering TMZ, around. TMZ, scootering. It wasn't scoot- even, it's not even TMZ. It's uh, X17. Uh, on what? <laughs> yeah, it's not it's TMZ. Not TMZ. It's I thought X- it was TMZ. It's no. X17. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, you, you know you can tell it's not TMZ? Yeah, because they're talking to Colin. <laughs> 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 Like it. Ah, you know I like this. <laughs> Colin is obviously like trying to come up with some witticisms for the camera and everything, thinking TMZ is kind of a big deal. Jim, could you read the view count for me? It's not many. It's only it's only five hundred thirty four, but it's a while ago. It's give getting these things time to grow online. <laughs> From September 21st. It's going to get viral. When you said, sco- when you said scooter, I didn't realize you meant standing. I thought you meant a scooter that you sat on. A uh, standing scooter's not that bad. Oh, standing scooter, one leg. Nah, no, ah, uh, standing scooter's pretty bad because we everybody had, knows you're injured. We had dinner the night before you went in. Yeah. We had a nice, uh, delicious Italian supper. Oh. oh. To do that again. Oh. It's very hard not to eat bad in that restaurant. It is? Yeah. You're not kidding. How glad are you that the donuts didn't come through? I'm happy. I saw your look of panic. Like you wanted, because the, the rest of the room wanted donuts, yeah. but you can't have them I around know. you. <laughs> I'm just weak. I mean, I won't eat them, but I'm tired and I'm fucking weak. You are. Tugging that's my... when you break the diet. Yes, that's the that's <laughs> when you got to be careful. Good insight. That's right. Good insight. What were you doing last night that uh, that you couldn't sleep? I, I know. Le- There's more to the story than meets the eye. I did the my set. Went home, had some Vietnamese food. Ah, ah. you ate the way. No, no, that I was just relaxing. I played with my dick a little bit. Didn't do oh. a whole lot. And then I just couldn't fall asleep. Hmm. You don't have a TV in your bedroom, though, so you just lay there? Yeah. You've got to find a way to incorporate whatever you jerked off to, to like a sleep type of uh, something that induces sleep. Who the hell can fall asleep? 
Look who's stumbling into the studio. Why are you sitting on that side? You told me to sit I didn't. <laughs> Roland did. Roland, what are you changing the... Dynamic? Yeah, like someone on my right. Well, uh, well, why are you sitting there with welcome. the new status of the show? I expected you to be sitting where Sam is sitting. To be no, I, because I honestly don't know how to do all that button stuff. Well, the fact that you call it button stuff makes me believe you. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. All, uh, let me... Is the show on? Well, yeah, we're just starting. No, we it's... have our headphones on because we like the heaviness <laughs> on our head. <laughs> Why aren't there some fun treats like fucking blueberry muffins on this stupid show? That isn't a bad point. With an equal number of blueberries in every muffin. Yeah. All how right. about somebody? Sam, gets... listen. If this is how it's going to be, I'll fucking leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, Colin Quinn, to Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Well, really welcome. We just walked in. <laughs> he did. He's <laughs> as we just started. Um, stumbling down I, the hall. Well, you yelled at me for sitting on your left, which is annoying. <laughs> My headphones aren't even on. Oh, that. Oh, there we go. You just don't feel like you were brought in the proper way. Yeah. First, I saw Roland. First, what I did was outside. I saw Roland waiting to greet me, so I snuck in the other back door <laughs> just to annoy him. But he caught up with me. He's standing out there at the front desk looking very unprofessional. <laughs> with, his, with his bright orange scrub daddy t-shirt on. <laughs> it's like a big corporate office and he's just standing there in his horrible outfit. <laughs> shorts. Yeah. Scrub daddy t-shirt and his basketball shorts that don't <laughs> that don't go down past yeah, his knees. Awful. It's, awful. <laughs> it's just startling when you see him yeah. in the middle of a beautiful corporate office. <laughs> right. Well, he's the, he's, the, he's the talent greeter for one of the big morning shows. I know. The worst. <laughs> I'm very tired today, Colin. Oh, no. Do you get much sleep? No. Why? Were you out last night partying? No, I just couldn't <laughs> sleep. Oh, brother. Do you have coffee in the middle of the afternoon? See, with a guy like no. Jim, you always hope it's some exciting story with hookers or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it never is. Just Well, I wouldn't say it never is, but I mean... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I just couldn't last night. I've been going to the, we we had this this extra hour of getting up early, but instead of it taking it in, for an extra hour of sleep, I'm just going to bed an hour later. Oh, just realizing I can afford it. One more hour. What's, what's the big deal? So it's one thirty. You're jerking off. Yeah, no, no, I had already jerked off. Do what I do. What's that? I every time when I can't sleep because you know you start thinking, oh my god, what is going on? You know, you're still going over your whole life worrying, worrying. So what I do is I think I pretend I'm playing basketball for Fordham. In 1971, like I'm a point guard just dribbling down court because that was my fantasy when I was a kid, and I just pretend I'm dribbling and I fall asleep. I almost <laughs> did listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> it is the, I do have weird daydreams. You know, my yes. I, I was watching trying to watch a UFO documentary last night. And the I, UFC? No, no. What UFO. was it about? Oh, the unidentified flying object. Oh. Oh. a guy in uh, Australia who does. There's a documentary about him. But then I went and looked him up online. They said these are all bullshit. So I just. I turned it off. That's how I felt after I saw the second Conjuring movie. You didn't like that? Well, I liked Parts the movie, the but then I went and looked up the true story and just realized it was all... Because they were like, it's based on a true story, and it's, no, it's not. It's bullshit. The true story that it was based on, I mean, was total bullshit. Yeah. Just a British family pretending to see ghosts. There were no ghosts. I think that's what the Amityville Horror was, too. It's bullshit. Oh, but, no, but he did murder his family. That was Ronnie uh, DeFeo. Ronnie DeFeo. Yeah. The Lutz family, George and Emily Lutz. Yeah. yeah. I think her name was Emily Lutz. Yeah, I think that the whole, all of them, all of them are bullshit. And then you look, because then I started going even further and looked at the Warren family, you know? Those are the ones that yep. went and, and, and found the ghosts and everything. They were bullshitting, too. The whole thing is just a crock. It's know. a crock. I don't know. I like to believe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. I like to believe too. Yeah. Sam's not going to ruin it for us. That's right. You believe in ghosts? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys have Paul Schrader in later. Is that the Paul Schrader coming in today? Yeah. Yeah, we have Willem Dafoe and Paul Schrader coming in. What? Yep, later on this morning. I don't yes. think they'll compare to you, Colin, but they'll be No, here. I'll have to be very compelling to keep up with those. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Paul Schrader wrote a lot of great movies. He wrote The Taxi Driver. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know you wrote it. You didn't? No. I should probably do my homework. Yeah, that's... that's... that's I'm busy. I was, I was trying he to... He wrote it in three days in a, in a tizzy. I didn't know. Don't be mad at me because I didn't know the time frame. If you can't sleep, why don't you like... He was like a, a madman. He just wrote it and you're like... Oh. Um, why don't you do like a little like guest research or something? I always do. Yeah, especially when you can't sleep. I saw Platoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you did, but you could have... I'm yeah, sure Willem Dafoe would be glad to talk about Platoon now. Yeah, yeah, he'd love to. Later. Dude, hey. did you hurt yourself when you fell that time when they were shooting at you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could have done a little bit about poor Paul Schrader. Did you just plan on him just sitting it's here? fucking legend. Taxi driver, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, Our uh, favorite. I didn't know he wrote it. 
What did you think he, he wrote did? It. Directed it? Yeah. No, I didn't think he wrote it. <laughs> <That was> a, <laughs> what did you, what, what did you think his involvement was with it? A producer. 